Take your best shot. is going on guys and gals welcome to goodwill hunting happy thursday it's your boy brad the brett man is right over there you can't see him but he's here what <laughs> the <laughs> hell ah. are you, slash are you, dice motherfucker <laughs> are you conor mcgregor from roadhouse or what no man i'm just camouflage man i'm camouflage man me sandwiches hey listen um uh, Brett Man's right over there. We're doing the freaking Real March Madness tournament tonight. Best action movie of all time. Can't wait to get into it. We're waiting on Chris. Chris is going to be joining us too because it's a special occasion. One of our favorite shows of the year. And, you know, we couldn't do it without him. So he'll be here just momentarily. But uh, in the meantime. Quick question. I got go I got like two two observations with this thumbnail already. Okay. The first one is there's a lot of Johns here. I, that's what I said in the Patreon show. Or the, I know. The, that's why I brought that's Dude, why I listen, brought there's it John Rambo. There's John uh, McCain or M McLean. No, McCain. McLean. John McLean. And, and there's John Wick. And then there's also the, the nemesis of John Connor on there as well. Um, yeah. So you could think about that. But And my second question is, is John McCain on a freaking stripper McLean. pole? No, he's swinging down from the building, dude. He's swinging. I down know. I mean, it looks like he was on a sexy pole going like, you know, like here, I'll try to reenact this. He's like, yeah, going to get be explosive. Well, there was there was an explosion, so you're not half wrong. But you well, know what? Cool guys don't look at explosions, though. They don't. The Robocop doesn't, either, nor does the Terminator. Because the more you ignore it, the cooler you look. This is going to get crazy. I can already tell it's going to be a crazy night, man. I'm already a Jack and Coke in, and that was before we even started this. But regardless, foe, hello, everybody. <clears throat> the third annual Real March Madness here. and We're going to be determining tonight what is the best action movie. And we want to make it clear, we're not picking the best movie, because if we're doing that, one particular movie is going to win. We're legitimately going to pick the best action movie. And I'm going to let Brad explain all these details here in a little bit. But until then... I want to say hello to the chat real quick because you guys are already uh, freaking busting because you know us. Sometimes busting makes you feel good. Uh, so let's see. Really all the time. Uh, all of the time. But before that, for, uh, here, I'm going to save our important people for last here. But first, we got Cody Snyder's in the house. What's going on there, Cody? Not, whoa, 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 whoa. Now, you just made Cody feel like he's the most unimportant person in the world, dude. No, Come on he's, now. A, you he's said, very... You, no, said, he's, you said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to save the important people for last. Now, let's get Cody's done. But, but there's a... But there's a... <laughs> but there, no, there's a... It's for an important reason. You'll understand. Once I get Cody's particular perk, then we can say he's the the important one because uh i'm going to play some important video like, okay i'm not really helping myself guys i'm sorry i'm a <laughs> jack and coke again so and i'm already uh, working on number two uh so again no no hard feelings cody cody snyder i've talked to him earlier you're my dude he 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 knows uh and then chester what's going on there chester good real hunting don't know who those ass hats are la mantra what's going on we got zodiac z we got raymond uh i am nobody's uh side bitch uh so brad could be super brad but i'm no side bitch so uh let's see here uh i'll get him in a minute uh let's see who else here we got ashton's in the house what's going on there ashton Y'all are talking about yourselves. That's always great. We got Janine. What's going on there, Janine? We got Vanderhoff. What's going on? We got Destiny. Destiny, what's going on? How are you doing? Uh, and I believe this is a first-time person here. This is uh, Ledger Forever. Uh, so Ledger Forever, first off, welcome to Good Real Hunting. You picked a very good stream for this to be your first uh, Good Real Hunting stream. So everybody in the chat, 
You know what to do with new members. Make Ledger forever feel welcome forever. And bravo to watching Quantum of Solace. Let the people know what you thought about the movie. Underrated to an extent. I mean, you know, it's a lot of people hate on it, but it's still better than a lot of Bond movies, man. It really is. Mm -hmm. It really is. And uh, Desi, you're absolutely right. Busting does, in fact, make you feel good. And uh, if they don't like it, because guess what? They hate us because they ain't us. And, well, that's a true story. That's a true they story. They hate us because they story. ain't us. Yeah. And so, yeah, see, we're busting these action movies. We got 64 action movies to talk about tonight. Busted. What, what, kind, what kind of madmen are we? But speaking of Mad Men, we're going to a real man. And uh, so that is the J-Man from Backtrack Cinema. J-Man, what's going on? I hear this is where the real men are. Yeah, tonight especially, because again, hey. we're talking about 64 movies. Real men, real movies, man. Back in the day. Back in the day. That's when we did with the J-Man. We watched uh, action movies all the time on his channel there. Absolutely. freaking lootly And uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. and uh, we are good with everybody else. Uh, Ledger says, I love Quantum of Solace, it's easily top 10. Nice. Very nice, nice, it's good, man. It's good, okay. But get to the important people. Uh, and here's why here's why because Brad did a Patreon stream the other night to update people on their perks. So if you want to upgrade your perks, great. If you want to be the same. Great. If you still want to do the traditional stuff and support us by liking, sharing, and all that jazz, that's great too. But I do suggest either joining our 99 cent tier because no other channel is offering a 99 cent tier. Like, what kind of mad people are we? Or if you want to do something cool, you can join our $6 tier. That is uh, tier number two. You can get stuff like this uh, in terms of what Bluffer fluff is and this is exactly what you can experience on good Roll hunting for the six star perk <laughs> yeah yep so uh yeah but brad go ahead because again uh, you did the stream so you know there's a lot better than i do so yeah six dollar tier that's tier number two you get to pick your own uh, Super Chat video. So that'll get thrown into our damn uh, rotation of Super Chat videos when people send in Super Chats. And you'll have your little name on there. It's it's really cool. And um, yeah, I mean, all kinds of fun stuff. Like uh, the Tier 3 folks next week. Or is it next week? Is the, the After the, the first week of April, if that's next Thursday, we're going to be starting our 30-minute uh, pre-show and all of our live shows. Mm -hmm. We'll hang out with all of our Tier 3 folks privately there for about 30 minutes before the show. That's a fun one. One thing I did want to note is if you are in the membership program, we are deleting the $5 and $10 uh, levels because we wanted mm -hmm. to merge with what we had on Patreon. Because for whatever reason, when we did the membership, we made it different and it complicated things a lot. So we had two, you know, we had two tiers on 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 the memberships that wasn't on Patreon that was already running just because we wanted to get more options. But we got really confused when we were trying to divvy out perks. So we just merged everything. Um, so if you are on the five or ten, it will be deleted. We're not going to automatically change your price to the, one of the other tiers because we're just we're going to delete it and it'll go away. So if you want to rejoin the membership, you have to do that. If not, that's OK. But just wanted to get that announcement out there. No, absolutely. And that's exactly <clears throat> why I pulled up Brooke's um, uh, membership right there. If she became a YouTube member, she was a YouTube member, but she upgraded to be sure to be in that proper so follow brooks lead or if you're a newbie if you want to join go ahead and get brad just in case if they want to do any of that because fuck us right uh <laughs> what could they also do to support the channel hey just liking the video subscribing sharing telling your friends being in the comment section hitting uh the uh you know like i said the comment section all that stuff helps out tremendously it's it's great it's a big help Absolutely. And uh, Brad, you're in trouble because uh, Breaking Dawn Part 2 is not in this tournament. She kind of wants to know why. Get the fuck out of here. Because the only scene in the movie that was good was deleted. It was, uh, it was, uh, it got Dude, wiped out. I would take this movie over a couple of the action movies I indeed did watch. Like what? Um... Sorry, Jack and Coke is swirling in my brain. I'm waiting for it to pass through before I can answer your question. Uh, <laughs> oh, The Last Action Hero. It was no good? You didn't like it? 
I thought it was just okay for what it was. But if we're just talking about full on action, definitely that last act definitely beats out uh, the last action for me personally. I know I'm going to get a lot of flack in the comment, but Destiny, I tried, but unfortunately, it didn't make it. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. And uh, Vanderhoff says, You guys have the best opening of any channel. I love. Man, that is exactly what I love to hear because we love feedback like that because we want to be sure we want to be the best for you. So that's awesome. Brad over here created that intro. Yeah, man, we're talking about uh, messing around and doing another one at some point, but you know, that will oh, work. Oh, yeah, just with even more skip blooper and stuff. Yeah, it's going to be fun, man. So uh, we need to put the fairly heirloom in there. Um, let's see here. Uh, Rosie, idea. you just joined us. Rosie, my dear, you know the deal. Here is your rose, the uh, the most beautiful rose on the entire YouTube game circuit. So, Rosie, there you go. Uh, we got Blu-ray Attic. What's going on there, Blu-ray? How are you doing? J-Man is starting Play of the Apes reviews for Ape Roll. Ha! Love what you did there. I like that. So Maybe we'll uh, consider uh, doing some on our own. Maybe if the people want it, we'll, uh, oh. we'll think about it. So, let's see here. <laughs> uh... Like, share, and subscribe. All is done. Thank you so much, uh, Ledger Forever. Uh, so let's see here. It's command. Oh, <laughs> oh, please. Uh, no, absolutely it is. And we're getting ready to start this tournament here in a little bit. I just want to make sure we're covering our bases and the uh, the new Patreon YouTube membership cards. Uh, because again, I'm going to start updating those once a month the first of every month so if you join later on in the month if your name's not on the card don't take that personally it's just it helps me just to double track my basis and make sure everybody's getting their perks that's kind of like my the first of every month i'm treating that as the day to go over every single member to make sure they gain their proper perk yeah uh absolutely we're working on that and we're excited um another hey another cool thing we're doing is <laughs> flamethrower or brother fluff, he said, "Is it true that Brad is the number one cause of pregnancy in the southeast?" No, it that's gonna be, be <laughs> that's gonna be Tyreek. That's gonna be Tyreek Hill. But I think I came in second place. Oh, Brad, too stuff. I mean, it's true. It's true story well, it's for the Panthers. Uh, but anyways, uh, so Brad, go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Um, another cool thing we're really excited about is the 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 tier one people, the three dollar people. And everybody, it's available to everybody, but we opened it down all the way down to tier three because we wanted to give them more value. Is uh, fan call in shows is something we're going to start doing. Uh, oh. Probably squeeze one out in April. Uh, basically, going to be a QA kind of hangout, but we'll open it up. We'll send you all a link to join the stream if you want to. You can come in, you can ask questions, you know, you can join audio, video, both, whatever. Probably not. We'd love video. to see your face, but if you don't want yeah. us, to see, us to see your face, uh, great. Uh, but Quasimodo showed us our face, and uh, we told him to get the fuck out. But so take that as you will. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be really fun. Looking forward to seeing putting some faces with some names and, and vice versa, some names with some faces, and uh, and just you know having a good time, kicking back, relaxing, and yeah, it'd be fun. We'll we'll get into more of that uh, later, but. Uh, well, dude, why don't we whip up this this bracket and look at it and yeah, and I'll let it. you discuss. This is your baby. I'm gonna let you discuss it all, man. But yeah, let me pull out the bracket because I'm getting questions about the bracket. And guys, uh, if you want to, in the description is the link to the actual terminated bracket. So if you want to just uh, casually fill one out, go right ahead at this point. But we did get a lot of people uh, submitting their brackets before this stream. So best of luck to you for a chance at a twenty five dollar gift card of your choice. Yeah, of your choice. Outback. If you guys like Outback, I know that's Ooh, a that's blooming an onion. Yeah, man. Blooming, blooming onion. All right, here we go, man. Here's uh, what it's gonna look or, like. Or in this stream, Brad, the booming onion. Or the busting onion. All right. Anyway. <laughs> oh god. Anyways. Here's what we're looking like. Uh, tier one here. Um, uh, I don't know where that came from. Uh, for the bracket. Um, dude, it looks okay. So we have 64 of the best action movies of all time. Some are better than others, of course. That's why we have seeds. But obviously, you see the four number one seeds, Dark Knight, Aliens, Terminator 2, Saving Private Ryan, Shaving Ryan's Privates, whatever you want to call it. It's there. It's readily available <laughs> for you. We're going to get into it here in a minute. Um, you know, hopefully uh, Chris will be here soon and we can get into it and uh, start rocking and rolling. But yeah, it's we got some good matchups right in the first round. We're going to have damn Deadpool and Predator is a big one. Um you know, uh, the Avengers and speed, that's tougher than you would think it is. I'm already seeing a Cinderella story amongst us. The Robocop and Upgrade, what the hell of a matchup that is. Because those, those two movies are actually very, very similar. 
I definitely upgrade was inspired by RoboCop, hundred percent. Um, yeah. we're gonna, and yeah. um, and Cody Snyder, yes, this is going to be enhanced because that is why. Uh, after the second round, so from Sweet Sixteen all the way to the championship, it's going to be determined by you, the fans in the chat. So all twenty of you right now, if you stay throughout the entirety, uh, when we get from the Sweet Sixteen onward. Uh, then that is um, when you indeed are going to be the ones that choose who wins and who loses. At the end of the day, you all get to pick the greatest action movie of all time. And we'd like to do that because there's no collusion at all because we determine the first two rounds. You guys take it home. There's no even even if we try to do some silly shit and try to get damn uh you know uh fucking uh well, all these movies are good so there's really no good examples. If we try to get Last Action Hero to go to the Final Four, you guys could prevent it. It could happen. Mm -hmm. I like the movie, but Bert does not. So that's the only one I could think of off the top of my head. Yeah. And, uh, and Brad, uh, I know we're still waiting on Chris, but I'm sure, like, if like if there's one we have to go back to, we can let Chris decide on. But yeah, okay. we'll, we'll wait about a couple of minutes. But I would figure this would be appropriate time to do some little promoting here. Uh, next week is going to be a big week for the Brett man, uh, because, uh, one, it's WrestleMania season, so I'm going to be busy, um, as a wrestling fan next week, but, you know, every wrestling fan needs to take a break, so next Friday is going to be my freaking early birthday hangout, and the reason we're doing this particular hangout early is because, uh, the people I want to be on for special guests, uh, they're making a little fan film, uh, in the middle during my birthday season, uh, and I don't fault them for that, because I want them to have a great success on the fan film, uh, which I'll go ahead and let y'all know is the last nightmare part one, uh, so best of luck to that team when they're in production, so I decided to do this early, so I can have some of those people on the channel and we're just going to hang out uh do some shots and uh, of course we're going to answer any questions or whatever y'all want to talk about yeah um it's gonna be a lot of fun looking forward to seeing who all shows up and celebrating the birthday of the, of the brett man it's gonna be great yeah and then uh also on uh let's see here if i got the the name of the street the stream next week because uh i'm actually going to be on a be a special guest next thursday as well on uh talking shit uh which i know first off great fucking name but it's talking shit for uh mark Vincetti. uh he runs that channel and uh we're, he has graciously invited me to be on his channel next thursday to talk wrestlemania 40 predictions and i'll be sure to share the links and all that when that time comes uh and then also uh for um let's see here sunday april the 7th uh, back from the dead is back from the dead. Uh, very early on, we usually try to tend to do these at the end of the month, but due to scheduling, we decided to bring this to you early. So me and Destiny will uh be back for back from the dead the April episode, and we got a lot of good movies to talk about yet again, and that will be for April the seventh at noon Eastern time. But guess what, Brad? I think it's tournament time. You know why it it's is. tournament time? The legend is here. The squad is back together again. The champ is here. Man, I can't hear a fucking thing. Why? I can't hear fucking shit with this thing. What's wrong? He can't hear nothing. He's got John Goodman there, so that's good news. It's very sad. If you like Cox, say what? Actually, if you like cock, say nothing. Okay. Ah, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> oh, damn it, Birdie. You, you didn't say anything either. Well, fuck. Wow. <laughs> oh, there you heard Gentlemen. me. He's God, back. You son of a bitch. Now he heard me after he admits something. But anyways. Uh, but buddy, what, what did little he say legend. Was gone? Uh, over the line. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because we'll of your t-shirt. Market zero. You're damn right. <laughs> but man chris uh, we're glad you're here I hope uh, because if chris is here you know this is an important stream but we're already That's 20 bad. minutes in and we haven't talked about one damn movie so i say let's quit fucking around yeah pull out your freaking weapons i got my freaking weapon here so we're all freaking good to go nice 
This is tactical, so, buddy. Oh, that's okay. that's the most that's the most dangerous weapon of Tequila all. Tequila versus thing. tactical versus kitchen knife. I like it. <laughs> so, all right, guys. We're so let's go ahead. I'm going to disappear. Brad's going to be in charge of the chat and uh, also directing of whose turn it is to go to talk about movies. So without further ado, for the third time, let the real March Madness, uh, if I can get this back up again. Uh, that's what she said. Uh, let the real Ronnie, if a picture If March a picture of Sydney Madness. Swinney pops up, I'm going to be mad. No, it's going to just be <laughs> mad. It's, it's just going to be back in me. Uh, so here we go. So let's see here. There we go. Much better. Let me put this banner up. Excellent. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and disappear. Keep it clean in the chat. All right. We're going to do it. We're always clean. We're always good clean. Except for that time we got creamed. We got dirty oh then. My God. Wasn't that a freaking God. disaster? All right. Uh, Brad, is this a big... Okay, without being appropriate or inappropriate, uh, is this big enough? Yeah, that's, that's, that's plenty big enough, Brady. That's what he said. Oh, God. But <laughs> anyway, so guys, let the games begin. The tournament begin. What is going to be the greatest action movie of all time? Let us know your thoughts, your uh, pre-game thoughts in the comic section down below. So let's go ahead and get to the first matchup. The number one overall seed, the Dark Knight, against the worst of the worst, the Expendables. So are we going to get the greatest upset of all time? Or uh, no, we're just going to go with the Dark Knight. You know, I'll take this one first, Birdie. We'll just go from there. This one's not a difficult decision for you. Expendables is fun. You know, it's a it's a you know nostalgic blast, bringing back all the action greats, and it has some good moments and stuff. But it's no match for the Dark Knight. And I don't even, you know, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna factor Dark Knight in. Like I'm gonna consider it like as an action movie throughout the tournament. But even still, it beats the Expendables here. Um, it has enough else going on for it. Uh, I'm just gonna keep this short and sweet. Like I do, like I love my movies to be short and sweet. Good pick, The Dark Knight. I uh, like it. What a what a bummer, man! Because I was gonna go with The Dark Knight. Nah, I'm fucking with you. Yeah, like it, it's <laughs> Expendables was the first time watch for me, and I really enjoyed the series, mm -hmm. and I plan on watching the others. But yeah, come on, it's just, it, like come on, it's The Dark Knight. I did like uh, Terry Crews running through there with that shotgun, but other than that, man, it's just. Bruce Wayne <laughs> kicking a little bit of ass. It's it's that bunch of fun. That Jason right. Stray Joe Stadium Creed. scene was badass, though. Yeah, is, uh, was good. Brad, is it the first Expendables or the second one where they're, they ask Stallone what he's been doing, and he's like, I got my ass kicked. <laughs> the first one. <laughs> That's the first one, okay. <laughs> yeah, so Cole kicking that ass, so... But man, that was an easy round because now this is definitely one of the hardest round or one of the hardest matchups in the first round. The Born <laughs> Identity versus First Blood. Birdie, take it away, my friend. Ah, oh, man. This one's very tough. Uh, very tough because this was the first time watched for the Born Identity. And uh, with my boy, Matt Damon. Uh, and I can identify his greatness in this uh, particular trilogy. He did a great job. But man, if we're talking about best action movie of all time between the two, it's got to be First Blood because you know, man, all freaking uh, my boy Sylvester Stallone wants to do, he just wants to go home, but he can't. He got no legs. Um, uh, so I'm going to easily go with First Blood here. All right, Chris, what do you think, man? Oh, no, it's just a kicking. Um, yeah, man, I'm not going to add too much. I know we kind of have to speed through this, so I'm not going to go through the whole spiel. Oh, man, you know, this is kind of a tougher one for me than I had initially anticipated, but I'm going to go with First Blood as well. Yeah, I will third that. Born Identity, I thought, was kind of like, I don't know, I'd, I'd say a little overrated. I wasn't that wild about it. I thought it was kind of mid. Like, now, the story is cool, the concept's cool, but you know, in today's standards, the action's not that great. It doesn't carry it through kind of well, a actually. Going back through them, um, I thought Ultimatum was is the best of the bunch. I, I, I agree. Oh, we're going to get there. Yeah, we'll get there. I, I agree. I thought it was way better. Um, a lot of fun. I mean, I, it's not a bad movie. I just thought it was, um, yeah, it just it was just kind of, you know, 3.5 for me. Yes. All right. The next matchup here. Mm -hmm. This is a very intriguing 5 and 12 matchup because, you know, sometimes these 5 and 12s can get very <laughs> tricky. So we got Casino Royale versus Fast Five. So, Chris, you're up first. Mm, wow. Yeah, man. Two, uh, well, I don't know. I can't really. Casino Royale is fun in a certain sense, but actually, Fast Five is probably my favorite of the franchise. Also, I think there's a couple in there that I didn't see after that. 
Um, but I definitely think that it was one of my favorites when they kind of shifted from the the car to the, uh, you know, the theft, the heist kind of style movies and things like that. Um, but it's no match for for Casino Royale, man. One of my one of my favorite Bonds of all time. So it's Casino Royale. Yeah, dude, I'm taking Casino Royale too. Perfect story, man. Uh, Daniel Craig's first Bond movie. He brings that raw intensity to the character that we hadn't seen in a long time um and he just makes it he just elevates it next level man and it's fantastic freaking raw dog in it i love it uh <laughs> going with a uh, casita royale as well because you know my name you know my name you know my name you know my name Oh, good lord! And wow. I just lost my sorry, lost my voice. I saw the Jack and Co. But it's easily Casino Royale, no contest. Let's not forget about that parkour scene either, that chase sequence and all that I was stuff. About oh to say, my man. god, that this, so the crane good. scene holds up so well after all these no, years. The crane still scene does. is still great after, but after getting through the cockfighting and all that. So yeah, well, you know, it is what it's it hard is. Hard to beat a good cockfight. Yeah. Or as uh, Gold Dust says, he loves Gold Dust. Loves a good cockfight. Every time he gets involved in a cockfight, he goes cock cock cock. Uh, just kidding. So, uh, <laughs> so much energy the microphone cut out. <laughs> no, sorry, do you not, Brad? Brad will only get this. Remember that storyline where Gold does I do. with you, I do. So it goes, I, yeah. Uh, yeah, anyways, I do. So, next round, uh, we got 1917 at the four C taking on The Rock. And I'm not talking about the final boss, The Rock. I'm talking about The Rock with Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage. So Brad We're is talking back about up to you, Zeus's friend. butthole, The Rock. Zeus is a drive a <laughs> Volvo, a beige one. I, you know, 1917 <laughs> was a tremendous, you know, work of art when it comes to filmmaking. You know, taking this, this, this one, you know, this epic movie, making it one take, aesthetically at least, Absolutely outstanding. Some of the best cinematography you'll see in, a, in an action movie by far. Action sequences in there, a lot of good drama, a lot of good stuff. But The Rock is one of my favorite Michael Bay movies. It's got the best cast. Sean Connery, you know, Nicolas Cage, the legend. It's got William Forsyth in there before he got all broken up. Tony you got to love him for that. Oh, yeah. yeah, Tony Todd. Tony Todd's in there. Ed Harris. And they're all so good. I love the uh, the Alcatraz, the Alcatraz uh, environment as well. It's just great. Nicholas Cage is one of my favorite Nick Cage movies, too. He's so good in that. Um, it's awesome. I give me, give me, give me the rough. All right. Well, I will go ahead and tell you this. 1917 can do their best all they want, while the rock will go home and fuck the prom queen. So give me the rock. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nice. I work, will third baby. that. And then honestly, I mean, I think the 1917 almost airs on the side of, of more of like the, the dramatic really the yeah. action you know i think the drama yeah. is the driver's seat it just happens to take place in a sort of uh war environment but yeah the rock is is just unlimited fun man yeah and There's two quick things with me real me. quick uh the first thing is i'm not the biggest fan of war movies to begin with so if i'm picking a war movie you know that war movie is very very special but secondly we're not picking the best movie we're picking the best action movie and the rock <clears throat> delivers on that if this is the battle between best movie i'm easily picking 1917 just get those flares out there birdie get on your knees and let him come in there all right uh mm -hmm. all right watch out for the uh road flare though oh yeah. god yeah okay i better get back up but anyways let's go to the next round though we got the edge of tomorrow versus black hawk down and from what i previously just stated like what what more... down Black Hawk Down. Wow. <laughs> Are we talking about the same movie here, dude? <laughs> I, ho I hope I hope so, man, because uh, it was on a weird website and they uh, a lot of bunch of ads about sexual stuff. It, it was weird. Yeah. But I did find the right one eventually. And it was a good movie. Uh, however, it's like from my previous statement, I'm not the biggest war movie person. But The Edge of Tomorrow was a first time watch and I absolutely love the concept of an action back from the future type movie to me it works the visual effects were great so give me freaking edge of tomorrow on this one all right chris on you my friend yeah man i love the 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 way that edge of tomorrow blends the sort of action genre with science fiction and all that but if we're just talking about out and out action flick I'm going to go with Black Hawk Down on this one. I think that, and also going back and rewatching this, dude, this cast was fucking stacked. 
man. It's really, I, I, it's, yeah. I mean, there's like, you know, people in there for like three minutes that are huge stars now. I think Tom Hardy's in there, right? Was that my crazy? Tom yeah, Hardy no, Tom Hardy. No, yeah, my boy for, Tom yeah, for, Hardy, man. Uh, for a spell. And uh, so I'm going to go with Blackhawk on this one, Brad. So it's up to you, my friend. <laughs> Easy for me, man. A lot of people say in the chat, uh, I saw Blu ray said it. I think Raymond said it. I haven't seen Edge of Tomorrow. And I think that's true with a lot of people. I think it's very underrated in general because, you know, it came out, it changed names like after it came out. It was really weird. Mm -hmm. Like it was called Live, Die, Repeat, I feel like. And then that kind of became the yeah. tagline and it got weird and it kind of just got lost for that. But I think it's one of the better sci-fi action movies out there. Definitely. Tom Cruise obviously is one of the best action guys you'll find. He's in there. He kills ass. But one of my favorite Emily Blunt roles, <laughs> kills ass. He kills ass. He kills what, yeah, what kill my favorite? that ass. <laughs> one of my favorite I, Emily Blunt roles is this character in the movie, man. I, th I thought yeah, their, their little duo they had in there was fantastic. Bill Paxton was in there. Brody, you said Back to the Future. This is more of a Groundhog Day experience, it, you know. Okay, that's thing. that's more of a fair yeah. comparison. Yeah, so it's like a it, it's it's that kind of Happy Death Day thing, but it's in an action sci-fi movie. Works well. A lot of good deaths in there. A lot of good. I mean, there's comedic bits. It gets emotional. There's a lot of good stuff. Um, Blackhawk tomorrow. <laughs> God, <laughs> Blackhawk wow. down. Uh, is that... good. I like it a lot too. It's you know it's one of the better war movies, but I'm going Edge of Tomorrow. I love it, man. Damn, so oh, that was a close one there. So Edge of Tomorrow just barely squeezes by. Hey man, I don't hate it. I I, I love that. What and, what is uh, uh what what's the line that uh every time that he shows up for Bill Paxton and he says, Well, 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 and then he there's some sort of what's the phrase? Ah, uh, it's been weeks ago. If you would have asked me that week I watched uh, it, I could have easily told you. I just got the greasy this, strangler on my mind. But <laughs> uh, I got in the green, one of my mind the, always. The greasy strangler. Uh, uh, I've got, I, I, that's going to have to. I'm going to have to tell you guys about that movie, or we'd be here for another 30 minutes. So we don't have that kind of time. So between that and Black Cock tomorrow, I don't know what. What? <laughs> oh my you heard god! That. The, the liquor's the liquor's kicking in, kids. Um, but Brad, before uh, I move on, though, uh, let's see here. I just want to say first off, uh, Davy just joined us. Davy uh death ray was going on my friend and uh i also saw Tonis joined us as well and brad I also saw you uh have a star comment and brad anytime there's a star comment you want to address just stop me no worries i was going to wait for the appropriate time backtrack j man said using the logic you had for the action movie best action movie expendable should have beat dark knight uh yeah mm. it's for me for me we'll see for me it's a consideration it's one of those things you consider but it's not the end all be all. It's yeah, not. Like, it's like a sixty five percent of that concept. Which trust me, I, uh, Expendables has that great action, but the action you remember the most is definitely the Dark Knight, especially when the Joker is driving that truck. You remember that way more, pretty much the entirety of Expendables. So that's yeah. why the Dark Knight edges out. Yeah. So and we're and right. over here at Good Real Hunting, we're all about edging. It's a good thing yeah. the Black Hawk tomorrow didn't edge. <laughs> well, uh, unfortunately, uh, sooner or later, we're no longer going to be able to edge uh, because the NFL is about to take away that tackle next. Oh, um, my God. <laughs> so, anyways, let's move on here. Uh, do y'all have a foot fetish or is it just me? Uh, it's just you, bud. <laughs> It's just me. Well, actually, it's not just me. It's also my boy Quentin Tarantino as well and his oh, sure. freaking astounding movie called Kill Bill, The Whole Bloody Affair. And to let y'all know what that is, it's pretty much combining Kill Bill's volume one and two into one movie because that's what the original uh, concept was supposed to be and that's how we're treating it for one and two versus Extraction. Nice. And Chris, you're up first this time, man. Woo! Um, yeah, man, you know, uh, I'm not even going to go into this. It's Kill Bill. I mean, Extraction was, I'm not, I'll be honest here, okay? I did not go back and revisit Extraction. I haven't seen it in some time, but even still, it doesn't hold a candle to Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2. Once is enough. Yeah, I yeah. agree with that. And I, I haven't seen it since it came out. I never even got to the sequel because, you know, I, I, I like the first movie. It had that one epic, like, 10-minute action sequence uncut. It's a, it's a great <laughs> B-movie. Oh, you know? yeah. Extraction, I, Extraction 2 just dominates what Extraction I, did with that. Yeah, scene. I know. I, I heard that one has an even better one. Um, but, you know, it's well, just I like, would say you know, better, but it's longer. 
Yeah, but either way, you know, I heard that about it, you know, but it was still great in extraction. But that's the one thing I really remember about it. There's nothing really strong from a character standpoint or a story standpoint. It's really just basic story with some good action. But Kill Bill, Kill Bill, uh, man, that's, Bale. that's you know, Kill Bill. <laughs> <laughs> it's the beat of a Uh It's a, uh, <laughs> it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's, uh, it, it, you know, it obviously it has that Quentin Tarantino vibe to it. And it's just freaking, it rocks, it rocks steady. It's got everything you need, some good action sequences. Uma Thurman in here. It's actually one, probably one of the only movies in here with a, a female protagonist too. So, and she kicks ass, Uma Thurman does. So that's really cool. And uh, it's a great flick. So I'm going with that. Yes. Uh, I'm also Birdie going is with gone. Uh, Kill Bill. Sorry, I'm camouflaged, man. You just got to look more curfurly. Uh So I, <laughs> curfurly. Uh, man, so I thought I somebody gave you the it. five point exploding heart death palm. Fuck, what is it? The five point. Golly. <laughs> five point somebody help me out the five no, it's the point five point ca, ca. Uh, just kidding <laughs> the five point uh, exploding heart palm technique i think that's this, it god damn it it's uh, cock night on good real hunting happy thursday oh yeah only on uh available on uh good real hunting onlyfans.com just kidding that doesn't exist the five yet. point exploding but, cock technique no god damn it that's birdie's saturday night uh, move i'm sorry man damn right it is but regardless <laughs> folks we're just go to the next matchup here we got the ray two versus mission impossible ghost protocol so this is actually a very interesting matchup here yeah i think it's my my go this time my go now it, uh yes <laughs> you're done now ray, uh well, ray, two, yep. ray two was the first time watch for me and right. you know i enjoyed the hell out of it some great sequences you know the story was pretty compelling it was interesting um there you go chris the five point palm exploding yes. heart technique <laughs> thank you um, snyder much love yeah it was it was it was solid uh but i can't i can't i can't go against ghost protocol i love the movie you got again tom cruise running down the burj khalifa it's just you know got a lot of great this is actually when the the mission uh, mission impossible franchise changed directions and became what it is today it was started with this movie you know jeremy renner came in there um uh, the cast was rock steady. It was awesome, man. It it really is a, a great flick, and I'm going with it here today. Nice. Uh, so uh, you're going with the Ghost Protocol, and here's the deal: for most, if this was a different matchup, I would be picking Ghost Protocol. But man, the Raid Two, that last big fight they had, honestly, was like the greatest fight scene I've ever seen in my entire life. And because of that, I'm going to go with the Raid Two on this one. God like damn it. it. You all don't put me in these positions, fellas. Um, oh man, I think I almost had my heart set on one thing. I'm gonna go with the other one. You know, I think the raid two has some of the best action sequences that we've seen around. Uh, and I really enjoyed it. It's actually a first time watch for me. I really enjoyed it. Um, but Man, I, something about uh, actually, I'm gonna and this Ghost Protocol is my favorite of of the batch, and I know that oh, may be a hot, okay. uh, that may be a hot take, but it's actually my favorite one. No, Paula Patton's in it, dude. Good choice. Oh yeah, and then seeing Tom Cruise run down the Wiz Khalifa, that was pretty fucking rock steady. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, uh, I thought he was running that uh, running uh, from the weekend song. Ooh, I'm blinded by the lights. Da, 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 da. If you yeah. watch the TikTok video, you know. But <laughs> I think this is was this the first uh the first uh Mission Impossible that was directed by uh Macquarie? See. Yep, yep, that's th- correct. Yeah, okay, yeah. So it kind of you know it flipped the uh the franchise around, I think. And uh I'm gonna go with that one, man. I'm sorry, Birdie. No, it's okay. Uh Braden and Miss Ayel are gonna be pissed because they talk greatness to the Ray 2. And I felt that greatness. Gosh, but you yes. know what? But I'm not but I'm not mad about this pick. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, they're both great movies. So you, you, you can't disagree. I think they're both they're both great movies. It's hard to eliminate Ray 2 because it was it was really intense, man. Super that prison scene. Oh yeah, the, the fight sequences were fucking awesome. Oh yeah. But uh, let's go ahead and finish off this uh, particular region of the Gotham region uh, where we got the two seed uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark against Demolition Man. Brad, please tell me I'm first on this one. I think you are. Yeah, you are. Yes, because uh, here's why I'm going to tell you why I'm excited because I found the Dark Horse in this tournament bracket. It took me a while to find it, but once I found it, I just knew 
the dark horse in this tournament. And my pick is going to be freaking Demolition, man. And let me tell you why, okay? Raiders of the Lost Ark, it just moves too slow for me at times. But I understand it's iconic due to Indiana Jones. He's an iconic character. One of the greatest adventure movies of all time. That's an adventure movie. We're talking about a freaking action movie. And Demolition, man, uh, Wesley Snipes was... Easily the best thing I've ever seen him do. Him and Sylvester Stallone have great chemistry with one another. The action scenes is great. The concept of the idea of this movie is phenomenal. And plus, I'm a 90s kid, and so are uh, my co-hosts here. Uh, so it really does tackle the 90s nostalgia. And I was a big fan of it. So give me the freaking dark horse of this tournament, Demolition Man. Bertie, what do you say we go blow this guy? Yeah, let's freaking blow him up. Chris, you pick first. I'll blow anybody. I mean, um, uh, I'll blow up anybody, dude. Um, so what? A, Demolition Man, Raiders of the Lost Ark. I just can't pick against Indiana Jones, dude. I can't. <laughs> I want to so bad. I can't. You pump me up so good there, dude. Uh, kind of like a Saturday or a Sunday, you know? And more, more Saturday, but that's okay. Right, and so I thought. You know, I, I'm going to go with it. He's he's well, talked me into it, but I, just, I understand. I, can't I brought a sword into a gunfight in this situation, but I tried I my best. Damn it! I can't go against. Uh, I can't go against Indy, even though I do agree with what you said. It's in here, so I, I'm going to go with Raiders, and it makes it it makes it better because now Brad has to choose. Oh God, he's about to break my fucking heart. Here what? we go. What did the what did this guy wake up and what did this guy wake up? He could drive all these vehicles and show these guns. First thing I want to do is knit a sweater. I don't know what no <laughs> button hook is. I don't know how to knit, but now all of a sudden now I'm gonna knit some shit. Um man, Demolition Man was a lot of fun. It really was. We had uh yeah, like you said, Wesley Snipes was great. He was talking Spanish randomly, doing all kinds of crazy <laughs> shit. Stallone, you know, he was naked, frozen for Sex a while. Sex with hats. Yeah. Mm. Sex with hats. Uh yeah, and by thing, the way, Brad, before you pick real quick, I just want you to think of the phenomenal performance delivered by Sandra Bullock in this movie. She was a lot of fun in the movie, man, and I'm curious about what happened with the three seashells. But, um, <laughs> you know, Indiana Jones... No, I'm going to Demolition Man here. Let's go! So fast. I'm going with what? it, dude. It's, it's fun. Damn. Taco, Bell. Taco Bell, Chris. You can get it in the future. You can do it. I love it. Hey, I, I thought it was... There's a, a was fancy a, Taco you, Bell, too, dude. You're buying the Taco Bell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. That's a, that's that's easy hey, that's easy. To, yeah, this is an easy decision. Easy decision. Come on, man. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, Bertie said it right. I I do consider Raiders is more of an adventure movie. It's great. The action sequences are fine, but I'm honestly not even a huge Indiana Jones fan. Like I I like the movies, but I've only seen them like a couple times. Mm -hmm. It's not like I'm super connected to them like I am with Star Wars or some of the other adventure style movies. So yeah, I, I thought Demolition Man was a blast. I've been missing out on it my whole life. This was a first time watch for me, like just as much as, was, as it was for Birdie. Oh, yeah. Dude, I love it. I'm telling you, the dark horse, man, the dark horse. Uh, so, hey, what man. region do we want to tackle next? Chris, you pick. Uh, left bottom. Left bottom. So, we're just going to keep scrolling on down here. So, uh, exactly. the next matchup here, we got Aliens versus Bad Boys 2. And uh, so, I went last. So, Chris, you're up. Oh fuck, man! Uh, this is an interesting. This is an interesting matchup, and I'm gonna go with a logic that I applied earlier, which is I think that aliens. Uh, so it's, hear me out. I personally, I like aliens better than Bad Boys Two. Right? If I was just gonna sit down and you said these are the two things you had to choose from, I would probably watch Aliens. But I think that it exists more in the realm of sci-fi, and I think Bad Boys Two occupies a space more apt to action. Which is what we're talking about today, Bad Boys 2. Nice fish. Big fucking eyes. Nice. But a nice, nice fucking fish. Fucking fish. <laughs> My, bad they boys, fuck like bad we do. Boys, what you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> marsupials why are you shooting my car but but my bad <laughs> <laughs> that pool costs thirty nine hundred dollars i'm going bad boys too man the, the movie's too quotable it's too oh, much fun shit. yeah i gotta do it i love it i again this is a, one of my favorite michael bay movies the connection here the chemistry with will smith and martin lawrence is this is the best movie you'll see with that um and the third movie is good too but i I have a blast with this movie. I've seen it so many times, dude. And, you know, it's actually got a lot of great action sequences on it. You got 
cars getting thrown out at our boys. You got dead bodies getting thrown out at our boys. We got invasions in Cuba. We got damn the, all this other the, you know, the Hummer flying down the hill in uh, Morocco oh, or wherever it was. The favelas, yeah, just busting through their explosions. Yeah, that's man. how you shoot. From now on, that's how you shoot. Fantastic <laughs> movie. Love the fuck out of it. Give me back. I'm telling mom. <laughs> who the fuck's yeah, Reggie? Man. And uh, yeah, wait, who the fuck are you? Yeah, like Mike, just, uh, that's like I got an erection. Reggie. Call the wife. <laughs> tell her I'm on my way. Mike, take the bitch. Uh, hi, I'm Reggie. Yeah. How old are you, Reggie? Sixteen. Bitch, you look thirty. Like, yeah, <laughs> you look like, Ain't going back. Oh my god! But uh, so. Big, probably one of the biggest upsets in turn and uh, real March Madness history we just made. Yeah, sixteen over one. We just had a fifteen over a two. And I will say, I meant to say earlier, the chat uh, was all about demolition. Man, they were excited. They were really my God, my chat, and uh, especially with mm. uh, Brother Fluff's five dollars super chat. Let's uh, pop that up real quick. So, uh, and demolition man, do they throw seashells in their neighbor's tree instead of toilet paper? Again, I don't know what the fuck is she sells by the she shore is all about. So I hope they make a demolition man too, just to explain it. Yeah, I you know that that's still a question <laughs> I've been wrapping myself around, and uh, yeah, I have no idea. But I we appreciate the super chat. I got a video for you, Birdie. I got a special one too. Do it. Oh. Hell yeah, dude. nice classic. Yeah, wow. we yeah we yeah. Before we play the video, we gotta remove the comments. So I'm glad you did that before I get I got a chance to. So hell yeah, because we gotta pop that name up there. That's the advantages <laughs> of having a six dollar or above tier. I'll tell you what, Bertie, we could just move the name up to the top of the video. That way, we can just have it both up at the same time. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. That would have been a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, but brother Flood, thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. And I'll get that fixed uh, first thing immediately. 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 So, uh, but yeah, so after the shockness of the biggest upset in uh, what did you pick, Bernie? history. Oh, I, Bad Boys too. so I'm <laughs> right there with you. Bad Boys, Bad Boys. Because what here's you the gonna deal. do? I I schmo, 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 hey. Mike, you gotta what? learn the lyrics. <laughs> Man, you shot me in the ass. Wait, who shot you in the ass? You, <laughs> what, me? I didn't shoot. I was shooting everybody in the uh, Damn, somebody shot you in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> What oh, I'm gonna man. do with these big ass dead titties? All right, let's go on to the next. One. Hey, life lesson, guys. At least cover the titties. But guys, <laughs> uh, but yeah, here's the deal. Aliens, real quickly. Aliens. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of this particular movie. I understand oh, it, like the icon. Off. No, I understand the iconicness of this movie. I absolutely do. So I respect this movie for all that love this movie. Good for you. It's just I prefer the original Alien over Aliens all day every day. Game over, man. Okay, I, I know, I know. My boy I can't Bill. believe it. I love uh, Aliens. I do. I think it's great. But it, it came down to action movies. That was the, the the deciding point for me. Again, it's not the end all be all, but it is a consideration. It's so. just quotable as hell. So yeah, it's just a fun movie. I just I love it, man. So uh, all right, hold let's on. Go to the next, Snyder said that Aliens is better than Bad Boy. Now, Bad Boy <laughs> is. That's just his. That's just his porn name on the weekends. All right, well, that's not even what we're talking. <laughs> Bad oh, boy. <laughs> oh, okay, goodness. who's up first? All right, so uh, let's see here. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. So you did that. So it'd be right back to Brad for RoboCop versus Upgrade. Ooh, Ooh. Like I said, like I said earlier in the video, these movies are crazily similar. Very uh, definitely a lot of inspiration from RoboCop in Upgrade. Kind of the same story from, you know, it really is the same story for the most part. Love the movie. <clears throat> I love Upgrade. I really do. I think it's, you know, the ending is fucking amazing. Great action sequences. Lee Whannell fucking rocks. He's has so much style to his direction. All these action sequences in here, he gave a nice little spin on. They were shot nicely with some good angles and stuff like that. <clears throat> nice, good revenge, you know, flick. It's great. But RoboCop's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's going to win this today. I love it. Dead or Alive upgrade is coming with me but not because it's not really because it's leaving it we're leaving it back so robocop's coming with me bring it on bring it wait well, so Brad, are you, what are you picking robocop oh okay cool 
He's picking RoboCop, and uh, just to be very short with this, because you all know my thoughts on RoboCop and Upgrade from the previous tournament we did for Summer Slash last year about Upgrade. Brad, thank you for your cooperation, RoboCop. <clears throat> and I want to say I'm going to vote for RoboCop, but it's only because I bought a flashlight one time that <clears throat> said, Dead or Alive, you're coming with me. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't think that's a flashlight, but regardless... <laughs> Um, oh, Chris, good, good luck. <laughs> gonna, or, uh, it's, actually, it's me. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to start the tempo with this matchup. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, good luck, fuck. buddy. Fallout yeah. versus Goldeneye. Because first off, Fallout is my favorite Mission Impossible action, or my favorite Mission Impossible movie in the franchise. Goldeneye is one of the most guilty pleasure movies of all time because of my days of playing the Nintendo 64 with Goldeneye. So am I going to choose the childhood in me or am I going to choose the actual proper respect of the action movie? I can't I can't break my kid's star, so I'm going with an upset with Goldeneye. Oh! Boom, boom, so, boom, boom, so, boom, so Chris, you're oh, next. So Hey, man, I don't think it's really an upset. I think we were all going in that direction anyways. Uh, I don't know, man. I love GoldenEye. I think, and it maybe there is some nostalgia that goes into play there, but like I, it was the first, I think it was, it was one of the first Bond films that I ever, that I ever watched. Plus it, the video game fed right into it. So yeah, it's GoldenEye, man. Brad, if you want to <laughs> contribute. Did you have, I was actually probably going to go with Fallout. Damn, um, really? Be, be, because because I'm factoring in nostalgia and I'm subtracting that. You know, nostalgia is a big thing. The game is still amazing. The movie's still great. But um, Fallout, I consider one of the best action movies out there. Uh, it really it, is. But... It's, close to, it's close to Casino Royale status with me. GoldenEye is not. But I do love GoldenEye. I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for it. I love it. It's fantastic. Pierce Brosnan's best movie. One, of, Still one of the better Bond movies out there. Um, so I, I, I'm, I'm happy to see it succeed. Well, I can tell you this. Yes, I am invincible. Boris. <laughs> Natalia was great, though, wasn't she? Oh, my gosh, yeah. Natalia, I can't <laughs> breathe. I wish I had that That was Xenia. Oh, well, On still, I'd rather, I rather had that problem. But um, so, anyways, sorry, I'm a little drunk right now. Oh, uh, damn the it, Matrix. Raymond. All right, go on with it. Oh, no, no, go ahead. No, get ahead. out of here, Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> nice to uh, Oh, no, what about, hold on, though. I was saying, what about die another day? Yeah, what are you, about are you die sure that you took day. that into con, that into consideration? The guy I'll fucking you, skied on a what was it that he used for his? It's a fucking door from a car, and he was parachuting and shit. And there was CGI yeah, and there was waves. Know. Here's here, okay, a quick bonus for you: Brosnan ranking, die another day last, tomorrow never dies. The world is not enough. Goldeneye. That's my easy. That's, my that's an easy goal. ranking. So uh, I think I would. I would. I would shift around. Uh, the world is not enough, and tomorrow never dies. I actually like tomorrow never dies. He brings up a great whatever. point right there. Mm. Halle she did. Uh, Halle Berry. Yeah. Look, let me go ahead and trump you one for Raymond. Out of respect, I'm going to trump you on this one. Denise Richards. Oh my gosh. Mm. I thought Christmas, I thought Christmas only, only comes once, once a year. year. Yeah, Lloyd. Lloyd <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> Or, uh, what was oh her name? God. Not even, Lloyd. Uh, what even though um, <laughs> Lloyd Christmas. <laughs> oh my God! But even though <laughs> um, God. But even though for uh, boy Brad, the girl you mentioned for Golden Eye, yeah, she's underrated Bond girl in my opinion. Xenia on the top was fantastic though. Mm. Um, yeah, she was great. So um, on uh, top, but let's Xenia get to this. Always on the top. <laughs> or uh, mommy is always on top but uh so the next round is uh that's a wrestling reference let me clear that up real quick that is a wrestling reference so <laughs> i don't believe in that alabama bullcrap so the matrix versus rush hour so we're we going with uh, one of the greatest sci-fi action movies of all time or one of the great action comedy movies whose turn is it birdie it is chris's turn oh fuck what do you mean oh, going fuck <laughs> This breaks my heart because I it have shouldn't. such a I have such a close connection with Rush Hour. My grandmother oh. took me to see this movie when I was young. She wrecked the car trying to light a cigarette on the way there. <laughs> Sounds like my and, boy Big Lebowski, dude. Yeah, dude. dude. Yeah, it was it was something oh, similar. She shit. she bent down to light it, and then when she looked back up, she said, "Oh fuck!" And then she, <laughs> she started spinning the car around, and we ended up in someone's driveway. But. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Matrix just because it was 
man, when that one that came out, I saw that one in theaters and um, mm -hmm. must have been like maybe nine or ten years old. And the action in that thing that was was crazy. You know, I mean, I know it's kind of sci fi as well, but I'm going to go with the Matrix. Yeah. Brett? <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to go Matrix 2. It was groundbreaking, man. It was it was genre changing. It was ground. Yeah, it was groundbreaking, I should say. I already said that. But yeah, it uh, it was one of those movies that, especially at that time when it came out, though, there was nothing else like it. You know, it's been often imitated since then, um, and they never really matched it within its own franchise. But it's one of those movies that just kind of changed the way action movies are done forever. So yeah, I'm going Matrix. Damn, that movie ain't gonna have a Rush Hour three. <laughs> so the matrix absolutely no contest so let's go ahead and go to the next round or not next round the next matchup here we got john wick four versus total recall brad you get to start us off with this one great movies john wick four is my winner here i just watched it again the other day one i said it in the review we did it's one of the best action movies you'll ever see from a action sequence standpoint uh choreography all that stuff stunts i mean it is absolutely tremendous that fire, uh, that dragon breath scene, one of my favorite action scenes, I think, maybe ever. It was it was so good. Um, yeah, give me John Wick 4. <clears throat> yeah, uh, so it's to me, it's either a dragon breath shotgun or a three-tit girl. I know what Chris's <laughs> picks is, so I'm not going to risk that. Uh, I'm not going to gamble with that pick because I know where Chris's dirty mind is going to go. So I'm going to pick the dragon breath shotgun and save John Wick 4. Get your Damn asking, Moss. It's ridiculous, man. Who doesn't love three titties, you know? I know, no, but I, uh, come on. I was going John Wick 4. Got, okay, good. Even though it was not my favorite of the franchise. Oh, it's absolutely not. Like, we're about to probably get to one of the ever superior John Wick movies here later on on the opposite side of the bracket. But uh, oh. so let's see here. The next matchup here is Mad Max Fury Road versus The Equalizer. And this is my pick. And uh, The Equalizer, honestly, good job, Denzel Washington, but it's, it's just okay. But Mad Max Fury Road was actually one of my favorite first time watches in preparing for this tournament because this movie is absolutely nonstop action. And this is pretty much if the definition of an action movie. This movie has to come up first in the um, current modern times uh, conversation for modern uh, action movies. So Mad Max Fury Road with me. Ooh. Chris, what's up to you, man? Um, actually, I really, I really like the Equalizer, but it's an absolutely zero. I mean, Fury Road was just absolutely fucking incredible. Um, uh, you know, I remember seeing it in theaters, and um, it's funny because I saw it with Meech, and she said, "I remember we left, and she was like, well, that was a lot,' <laughs> which is." <laughs> Which it which is absolutely on the nose. So uh yeah, Fury you said Road, the same man. thing about Hills Have Thighs, but I don't either way. I, I know. <laughs> set, set in the same world. <laughs> same world, yeah. Yeah, man, I agree I with mean, you guys, man. I agree with you guys. It's such a it's such a it's such a great time. And like uh Birdie said, man, it's nonstop, which is plus you got that beautiful blonde from Transformers Dark of the Moon. Like, oh my god, like come on. Abby Lee. Uh, no, the blonde girl from uh, the third Transformers movie. Uh, that's the model. Oh, she was like pregnant in the car, right? At the end? In yeah. The, in oh, the, the pregnant mm -hmm. chick. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. Fucking great movie. Excited for Furiosa. Would you guys like to see some Mad, Mad Max reviews before the Furiosa comes out? Also, Ooh. just inquiring. Just inquiring. Oh, yes, please. Inquiring. Give us a reason to watch all the Mad Max movies, please. I've seen two of the four, so... Well, there's two more to go, Bertie. Oh, but man, but freaking tournament moves on, though. We got Captain America, the Winter Soldier versus Lethal Weapon. So, Chris, are you going with the weapon that is lethal or the Winter Soldier in Captain America? You know, I'm uh, I know we're kind of we're already pushing time on this, so I'm not going to take up a whole lot. Um, I'm going to go with, with nostalgia again here. I know some people are maybe upset about that, but I think Lead the Weapon is the more out and out uh, action film. And it's also near and dear to my heart. So uh, I think it's one of the best buddy cop movies that ever came out. So I'm Lead the Weapon, man. 
Give me right. Lethal Weapon 2, oh, baby. That a baby. Yeah. I'm I'm glad because I was going to go with Captain America: The Winter Soldier, and I probably would have pissed off some people. So, hey, great movie though, Birdie. It 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 is. I think it is probably the best action Marvel MCU. If it was movie, a different yeah. seating, I can see Captain America winning. But I'm not mad about this one because Lethal Weapon definitely has to move on in some way. Yeah, I, th- I just I think it has to, man. <laughs> so, all right, get too old for this shit. I'm getting too over this shit. Uh, so our next uh, one is Top Gun Maverick versus Rambo. Uh, so Brad, you are first up on this, dude. Um, dude, Rambo Four is a banger, isn't it? Like, th- that's what this is. Uh, this is the way. one where, yeah, he just goes out there, fucking with that fifty cal, just do 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 do, which is way better than it is in zombies, Birdie. This cut down <laughs> trees, heads are popping off. It's like all kinds of crazy shits going on. He's badass in the movie. Um, I love it. There's a lot of great sequences in it, but Top Gun, man, um, to me, dude, I, there's not been a movie that's come out in the last couple of years that I've seen more than Top Gun Maverick. I don't think Salt In, ironically, might be up there close to it. But <laughs> Top Gun, Top Gun Maverick was one of those theater expenses you'll never forget. Even before I did the 4DX in it, but the first time I saw it was just regular. I was sweating and shit. Like I was just on the edge of my seat the whole time. Oh, that's I was, like, sweat, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, I was sitting there like just fucking in the movie, in the, just feeling the fucking theater, the the seat shake, all that stuff. I felt like I was in a fucking jet. The way they shot everything is just is again, it's kind of like Matrix, it's groundbreaking. You never seen anything like this before. All these actual fucking scenes from within the jets and all this stuff like that, you can feel it. This the story that what they did here is uh, they improved upon the original Top Gun by giving it a story that actually works and. Mm-hmm. um it's fucking awesome. I love the movie. I, I just, I can't, it, you, this is a movie you can watch anytime, anywhere and just fucking have a blast with it. So give me that. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, two things real quickly. Uh, the first thing is, uh, mm-hmm. Jennifer Conley, absolutely stunning in Top Gun Maverick. Secondly, um, so with Top Gun Maverick, like out the two movies you see below, which mo- of these two movies actually saves the theater because i think if top gun didn't come out the way that or the, in the manner that it did possibly more than likely the theater experience would have died like two years ago so that's why i am still picking top gun maverick birdie i thought spiral saved the theater experience absolutely yeah, on, not it's did serious. you see the freak my freaking uh out of theater reaction uh with uh, my messy screen <laughs> butter boy <laughs> yeah it, is. it wasn't butter <laughs> Gotta clean your uh, hands off before you touch the screen. Yeah, Maverick was 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 amazing, dude. I, and I'll and be some honest, people like wash their hands before they touch their popcorn. Whenever, <laughs> whenever I walked into the theater for Maverick, I didn't really have uh like I didn't know I wasn't that excited about it. I didn't have high expectations. I just kind of walked in there with an open mind, like ah, it's a fucking Top Gun sequel, you know, and and left very pleasantly surprised. Like it, it had a lot of heart to it, as well as mm-hmm. um as well as being a great uh, action movie. So, yeah, Maverick was great. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, all right. Uh, Brad, I'll let you pick. Do you want to go top right or bottom right? Let's fuck it up. Let's go bottom right. Right Right bottom, bottom. please, fellas. Right Right bottom. bottom. (laughs) So, uh, apple bottom. Uh, So, we're going with Save It Private Ryan versus the Lax Action Hero. Ooh. And uh, so this is uh, I'm starting this off this time. Uh, and again, it's like I said before, I'm not the biggest war guy. However, if I'm picking one, it has to be something special. It's saving Private Ryan and what they did in that opening act of this movie triumphs everything that the last action hero does. So I'm picking saving Private Ryan or saving Ryan's privates. Shaving. Mm. Ryan shaving Ryan. oh Ryan shaving I, my apology my, my, my bad <laughs> uh i'm gonna go with you on this one birdie i know uh I, we got going to probably speed it up a little bit uh let's just go saving private ryan although i will say that i loved Lax, last action hero i actually had this on vhs and when i used to come home from middle school maybe uh i would come home and that was like the thing that i would put on every day after school Last Action Hero, but Saving Private Ryan is the far superior movie, even though Last Action Hero is holds a special place. Yeah, um, I agree with you guys. Let's keep it rolling. I love it. Uh, that Normandy scene 
one of the best. I mean, fuck yeah. I mean, it's it's you know, it's great. Norbert ain't yeah. dared no more. Uh, so we got Enter the Dragon versus John Wick. So Chris, you get to start us off with this. Be water. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh. Let's just keep it short and sweet, man. I mean, I think I, I think Enter the Dragon. We already have a John Wick movie in there. Um, not just based on that alone, but I think Enter the Dragon is iconic. You know, it's sort of um, that's Bruce Lee's most remembered for that. I mean, I, I think that it has to be something said about that. So let's just go with that for here for me. Brad? Give me John Wick. I am okay. world building, bar none, action. This this kicked off a whole new genre of action movies again, just like Matrix did. It kicked off a whole new genre of action movies, man. Um, it really did. And it, Willem Dafoe's in here too, so I'm going with it. I really want John Wick. If y'all hadn't put four in there, I would have voted for it. <clears throat> well, let me tell you something. Hey, each matchup more... is individual, Bertie or Chris. I... Yeah, I was about to say, what the fuck do I have to do with this? But um, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, uh, what am I more afraid of? Bruce Lee or the Bugiaga? <laughs> Absolutely, I'm afraid of the Bugiaga. But I'm going with John Wick. And I'm pretty sure it. I didn't say it right, right because of them laughing. So, <laughs> so if you oh, want to nice. pronounce it right for me, real quick, was it Bobby the, uh, Yaga? Bobby, yeah, the Bobby Bobby Yaga. Yaga. That's, that's my fantasy team in my uh, in my other dynasty. I won last year, and mm. actually, hell yeah! So I'm the, get, I can't wait to kick that team's ass next. Hey year, man, so. Boogie Yaga though, that's gonna be where that's that's got to be a skit right there. Wookie Wookie <laughs> Wookie yeah. Wookie Wookie. Uh, the, so the, the you open your closet Yaga. door. Boogie the boogie the boo. Yeah. Oh my god. The Boogie Yaga. Anyways, so next matchup, we got the Gladiator versus Taken. Is it my go? It's your yeah, time. it is. Holy shit. Um, guys, your I'm going to go, I'm gonna go a little crazy here. I'm going to go with the upset. I'm going to go with Taken, man. I just, I just, you know, it's not that I'm not entertained with the Gladiator, but I think Taken is just a fucking blast. Liam Neeson coming in, fucking uh, becoming an action action hero in his 50s. Are you kidding me? Um, he was he kicks ass. I like the story. I like a good revenge story. You're talking about your daughter gets freaking kidnapped. Yeah, she can't act that great. That's okay. She does a good enough job. She likes milkshakes. She likes ice cream. We all do. I like that. You know, she gets I like taken her shakes and the revenge. They're like, you know, that, that fucking telephone thing. You don't know me, but I'm going to find you and I'm going to kill you. All that stuff. I didn't get it, you know, forbidden. But, you know, you get the point. It became iconic. I love it. And I know Gladiator's fantastic, but Taken is just a fantastic action movie, dude. Mm -hmm. uh, so Gladiator, I got a message for you. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you're looking for money, I got none. But what I do have is a particular set of skills of what make my movie so great. A nightmare like you. So I will find you and I will kill you. So I'm with Brad, folks. Give me fucking Taken. I think Taken's the most underappreciated horror, uh, action movie in this tournament. My man Birdie got it probably verbatim. Definitely closer yeah. than I did. Good work. A little there. bit. Uh, you can thank my drunk. You can thank my drunkness in that one. This is the first time that I've been upset all night. I love Gladiator. I really want to. I love go. Gladiator we all too. Do. It's just a bad matchup, dude. Taken, taken to me. I remember Thank when it you, came Snyder. out. I remember when it came out. I was in theaters seeing it. I remember just like the like you know how many times I watched it that that month after I got it on DVD. Dizzle. Like it's just you know it's just one of those freaking awesome movies, man. I just you know I like revenge movies, and I guess Gladiator's the same. It's still a revenge movie too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you not entertained? Yeah. I, you know I but just there was I an like, airplane in oh, Gladiator. It's he not packed. Realistic. He packed maggots into his. Well, I guess technically uh, the other guy packed maggots into his wound. You know, but I mean, it's, that's just that's so badass. And then they put a snake in the fucking uh, in there to try and kill his sister. So much revenge going on in there, man. And then he holds the wheat at the end of it when he dies, you know. And how do True. But there's something about like your daughter oh, getting taken, so, and you have to go it's fuck got some so people much up heart. Here. And there's so no I'm heart saying. in taken. Well, it's that's the thing. Void of emotion. No worries. That's a, it, it moved on. Yeah, that's the thing I wanted to bring up. Like, uh, Brad, I can easily see you picking Taken for that particular reason because I think later on in life you're going to gravitate more towards that movie for that particular reason. So, like, I can understand that feeling. I'll crawl my gossip, bitches. I don't care. 
I'll do it. I don't, you know, it's just, you know. Oh, I my just, God. I can read in the newspaper. Breaking news. Guy who thinks he's Liam Neeson just absolutely blows up Paris. Like, <laughs> and then he died. <laughs> and died, and died <laughs> after jumping off a bridge. Like, <laughs> I aim for the bushes, at least. All right. <clears throat> there weren't any bushes. But, yeah. Uh, but, no, I'm glad you put some respect on Taken. So, that's great. So our next matchup here is uh, the the sorry I didn't mean to just put Terminator. It's technically the Terminator, the Terminator versus three hundred. So Brad, this is up to me first, and uh, yeah, you can bring three hundred men. You can bring six hundred men. It don't matter. Those particular uh, Spartans are not going to beat up a Terminator. So give me the Terminator all day, every day. Three hundred, you have been terminated. I uh, like it. Chris, what you got, my, my man? You know, I think uh, both of these are groundbreaking in a certain way. You know, I mean, I like the, the practical effects of the Terminator and stuff like that were, were really original at the time. And 300 was, you know, the CGI used in a completely different way. And I, I mean, I love 300, but the Terminator takes it here for me it's, as well. Give it to me as well. We watched it on the channel the other night. Um, dude, it rivals T2 for me. It really does. I think it, you know, oh, it's up there. What? It does. It's I love it, the it really human, does. I love the human versus um you know Terminator story that it has there. It's the only movie in the franchise to do it. At least all you know, at least there's a Terminator fighting the other bad guys in all the other movies. I, I love it, dude. I think it's really cool. You know, it's it's that huge disadvantage that you have. You got this normal dude, Kyle Reese, coming in, trying to save the day. Um, and it's scary, too, man. It's got a lot of spooky scenes in it. Terminator's scary in that movie. I think it's, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, and plus, Chris, hey, who's in that millimeter? I mean, <laughs> come on. We quote that Man-millimeter. all the freaking time. <laughs> oh, man. But Honestly, yeah. I, think, I think the first time that I ever met Brad, he was he was saying Uzi nine millimeter, <laughs> uh, and I, I mean I mean I mean that in earnest. Like I think that I think that you're at some point during the night you were saying Uzi nine millimeter, and I was like, what that checks out. Is- yeah, that checks out. I usually kind of throw that out there as a feeler for whoever I'm meeting. If they can't if they, if they can't respond, I don't like them. <laughs> so all right, uh, let's go ahead and go to our next matchup here. We got the eat. Or uh, as Brad loves to call it, and I know Chris would appreciate this pronunciation, IP Man uh-huh. versus Face Off, which Chris, I'm letting you know, this is not a draft beer man. This is Eep Man, the Kung Fu master if I trained B- Bruce bun. Lee. So I'm going to have to just let you be aware of that before you make your pick. This is not a beer. This is a Kung Fu legend. I want to take it's his face off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm Caster Troy. It's face <laughs> off, man. Come on. I can't. There's nothing. There's really no contest here for me, man. I mean, it's face off. Uh, yeah, we're. I know we're running low on time. I'm not going to talk about it too much. It's face off. That's okay. We're going to speed round the second round, and then we're going to let the people vote, and we got the time. Okay. Limit. So we do need to talk about these movies, though. So you're good. Yeah. Um, face off for me as well, dude. Eat on. Honestly, though, has some of the best. You know, it's kind of like the raid. It's got some of the best. But honestly, I think that I like the sequel more. IP Man Two or Eat Man Two. Um, and I have. I, I feel like I saw the I third one too. One. Um, they're both great. They got they have they're they're faster paced. They got more action. But dude, I used to love the fuck out of John Travolta and Nick Cage, man. And putting them in the same movie, you know, and just letting them just be goofy as as hell and just having a good time. I'm I, I love Face Off, man. It's one of those I grew up with. The Golden Guns, the dude has, um, it's fucking great, man. <laughs> well, <laughs> I you know what I love more than Face Off, Peaches. <laughs> I could eat a peach for hours, Bertie. Don't so tell me it's, it's easy. Just... It's, e- it's easily face off. So uh that's an easy one. So let's go ahead and uh in my opinion, get another easy one out of the way. What about heat and commando, Brad? Dude, um, okay, so this is okay. This is this is what we're talking about earlier. Uh Heat is a fantastic movie, obviously. Um, but we talked about considering the action side of these movies. You know, um, and aside from the one scene in Heat where they do the the bank robbery gone south, um, there's, there's not a lot of action in it. Now, that scene is one of the best action sequences out there. Again, in the ranking of best action sequences, you'll find this here probably, you know. Um, 
I don't know. Com- Dude, Commando was so much fun, though. Like, you know, that you, you guys know about that scene in Commando when Arnold, you know, he's got his buddy on there in the plane. He's over there just fucking like, you know, p-chah. don't bother my friend. He's dead tired. And then he jumps out the plane and he lands in that fucking marsh over there. But it's like he's like he's like he's probably like 500 feet up in the air. Um, I honestly think uh, it's one of Arnold's most entertaining movies. I. From an action standpoint, I think I have to go Commando here for that reason. I just got to do Dang it. Now, he Heat is a better movie. Heat is definitely a better movie. But when you're talking action, I just don't think Heat uh, competes with Commando. Brad, are you serious right now? Heat had that fat ass, man. Like, what, what <laughs> hey, are you talking about? Don't Wrong. waste my motherfucking time. <laughs> Wrong. Let off some steam. Yeah. Uh, okay. You know what? I do need to lay out some steam. I need to make an educational decision. Even though I am pretty hungry, and I'd eat green berets for breakfast, and I'm really hungry, so I'm easily going Commando. Are you kidding me, man? Uh, high smoothies <laughs> are hard for me to get into, so Commando all day, every day. That's a shame. I was going to go Heat. If anybody in the chat was ready for it, a I lot of people in the eat. chat were ready for heat, man. They're going to be upset. They're already a lot. They were really mad about Gladiator getting <laughs> dethroned. <laughs> and we still uh, have twenty five people, so we appreciate you all for <laughs> sticking around. Which we're about to get to that movie here in a little bit. So, all right, we got the raid redemption. So, pretty much in a way, short term, this is the raid one versus nobody and uh, i am first up to go with this movie so in quick and short nobody brad i'm sorry i know we watched it together it's fun but it's really a nobody compared to the raid redemption i love the concept of the raid redemption building go in kick ass get out and that's exactly what the movie accomplishes so the raid redemption moves on to the next round for me yeah, I you, think, my friend. I mean, I yeah, everything the action in that is is great, but also uh, nobody is I, I love nobody so much because Bob Odenkirk is such a fucking like you would never imagine him to be like an action star, but he did so mm, fucking good true. in that movie. And it was so much fun. Christopher Lloyd showing up in there, Riza showing up as his brother, the cast was great, and it I had so I had such a fucking blast. And probably something about that is like I was completely taken by surprise. Like I had no expectations. It wasn't until Brad was like, hey, this thing's pretty good that I actually gave it any attention. So I'm going to go with nobody, man. Um, I'm going to make my selection. But first, uh, just a shout out to Alan Y joining in tonight. Uh, His favorite movie, Birdie, believe it or not, um, is probably uh, the new Roadhouse movie. I mean... Oh. Let's see what this is about. <laughs> oh, and real quickly, where, where I will the say, fuck and, is everyone? <laughs> and real quickly, just want to also say, I saw Melissa in the chat earlier, and I just saw Ben Graham. So how are you all doing tonight, too? I want to be sure to get your all's shout-outs as well. Absolutely. <laughs> he said, what the fuck? <laughs> where the oh fuck is God. everybody? <laughs> the uh, uh, Eve has taken over anyone? the world. <laughs> the, the sandwiches. sandwiches. <laughs> we need uh, more than three sandwiches. Like, and, uh, what about clubbing? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I've been clubbing. <laughs> All right, here Anyways. we go. Uh, nobody, dude. I'm going to take nobody here. I know the Raid Redemption is great. Oh. Uh, great action sequences. Fantastic. But like Chris said, woo, woo. it's just so entertaining. Like nobody's nobody's a movie that I'm going to watch way more than I watch the Raid Redemption. I'll, if it were nobody in Raid 2, I'd have more to think about. But uh, nobody is one that I just watch a lot. It's, you know, it's got great music in there that really just amp up the action sequences and um they're good it's like it takes that john wick style action of these like you know long take shots uh wide angle like all these crazy like gun sequences and stuff and he fucking in this bob odenkirk from saw better call saw um so what do you expect i think he's uh he's just super entertaining i'll take it i love it it's fantastic well, Brad, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know. Uh, we are having Braden on next week for the early birthday uh, hangout. I'm gonna try get Misael to join us now, and you're gonna have to explain yourself why you picked against both of the raid movies. They are not gonna be happy. I'll do it. I'll explain. It's all about matchups, man. Again, I think if if maybe if Raid Two was going up against nobody, I could have picked Raid Two. Um, and, and Raid Two was going up against Mission Impossible, which was my favorite franchises. So 
sorry, but you know, I'm not. So <laughs> <laughs> sorry, well, not sorry. Fine. <laughs> but so let me go ahead and break your heart, Brad, with Inception versus Row House. And this is the original, not the remake, the original Row House, Patrick Swayze going to get Inception. Yes. Is it my go? Uh, uh, what is it here? Go. Wait a minute. No, Chris's wait. Go. Brad, wait, Brad did Heat. So that means I did Ray Redemption. So yeah, it's Chris's go. Fuck. Yeah. Um, this is an interesting one for me because Inception's in my top 10 of all time. Ooh. But I okay, hope we get to hear that we score. Keep, we keep coming back. Oh, we yeah, will. dude. We will. We, we definitely will get to hear a couple of excerpts of it for sure. But, um, it's, it's my favorite of uh, top ten of all time, but I don't. I mean, I know we went back on back and forth on this about like choosing these. Is Inception an action movie? I don't know. It's a little bit drama. It's a little sci-fi. It's action. I don't know, but I think Roadhouse is through and through action. Far and away, my favorite Swayze movie. So I'm going Roadhouse, man. Ooh. You know, I had Inception on mine and it went really, really far because I love the fuck out of the movie. And it's far superior as a movie. Far superior. Oh, yes, as a movie. yes, yes, yes. Of course, yes. But you're right. I think you you sold me on the action thing. Um, there's some good action sequences in Inception, but that's not what you remember it for. There's really no action in the movie that really stands out as like you know groundbreaking scenes or anything. It's the oh, story, yeah. it's the drama. The, well, so, of course, but the, the hallway, the hallway fight scene, but that's pretty yeah. much the only thing. Yeah, I mean, that yeah. was groundbreaking though. That yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. I'll give you that. Um, so yeah, but I I, I think I'll, I'll I'll incline to agree with you. I'll go Roadhouse for throat ripping son of a bitch Patrick Swayze, and more importantly, um, damn uh, Sam Elliott. Uh, yeah, you know, he's yeah. yeah, he's the legend. He shows up there and saves the day at the end of the day. It's fantastic. And that character was sorely missed in the in the remake. I remake. Like. It, mm -hmm. That's unless, what, yeah. unless uh, unless if there's a potential idea for a sequel with that character, I, because you know, they did leave it open. Yeah, potentially. Yeah, that's what's talking Garrett, about. Baby, let's get. That's on. what I was talking about with uh, Alan Y the other day. Is this movie actually sets up? It could only be. It could be a prequel. Too like Ooh, Roadhouse, I like, like that yeah. idea. because it's like the first bar that he changed. He turns over in in the movie. It gets yeah. that this reputation. Could he, this could this could be how he turns into that bar saving career, you know. And they could do they could have him go to different bars and do the same thing. I you know? love that idea. Yeah, oh, let me man. tell you boys this though: pain don't hurt. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> that's a quote from Roadhouse. In case maybe somebody man, got it. Somebody needs to wake me up, though, because I feel like I'm dreaming. Like, I'm like in a dream within a dream right now for all these crazy upsets, man. But you know what? Let's make it three for three. I'm going with Row House, the original as well. Like, for a movie, it's easily Inception. But for what we're doing tonight, hunting down the best action movie, Row House beats Inception. It does. And that's, that's again... Kind of going back to the heat. And guess what? Like if it was the remake, I picked the remake twice. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Who oh, put those I'm motorcycles in the I, fucking I, way? I, might re <laughs> I, might, I legitimately the fucking might sandwich. rewatch re that movie tomorrow just because I was just like, I'm just obsessed with that movie right now. But uh, yeah, so we're picking Row House. So before we go to the next region, the bracket, uh, I do want to bring this up. And Raymond, I appreciate you bringing this up because I had no idea when I was saying uh, Melissa, hopefully all as well. Uh, she lost her dad recently. So uh, Melissa, if you're listening, I am so, so sorry for your loss. And all of our uh, positive or, or like our thoughts and prayers are with you during this difficult time. Yeah, yeah, condolences. And no, sure. from that, no, yeah, go yeah. away, go away. That is not a prop. Uh, that's not appropriate, stream. <laughs> so, um, but Melissa, I really am sorry. Yes, for real though. Uh, our Absolutely, condolences. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and yeah, no, no throws, rip, and inception. So, yeah, that's a great point. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So, let me see here. Let me get back to the tournament here. So, let's tackle this last region, second round. Right. I promise we're gonna go very quickly so we could get down to some voting and let you all decide so next one right here honestly this is not a i don't think this is a fair contest but we'll do it anyway t2 judgment day versus death sentence and brad i believe you're up i you yeah. know death yeah, you're up. Is, it's underrated as fuck you know it, it is. is really it's a great it's a james wan directed action movie revenge movie at that and it's dark mm. dude it's one of the 
it, it's got to be probably one of the darkest movies on this list because we mm-hmm. didn't have last Rambo's not here. for sure. I, I think it, yeah, it's, it's gotta be one of the darkest movies on this ri- list that really dives into like, you know, just the fucking, the dangers of, of revenge. It's, it's, you know, it, it's crazy. Um, Kevin Bacon, dude, he's in there fucking slaying John Goodman's in there, but T2 man has to win this. It's just one of the best action movies of all time. Come with me. If you want to advance, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. no, uh, I, I would say, I, you know, I, I, I go ahead, Bertie. Oh, no, I was just real quickly. The only reason we added death sentence into this tournament, like, like Brad said, this movie is criminally mm-hmm. underrated, and we wanted to shed light of why you should check out death sentence since we included in this tournament. It's definitely worth the watch 100%. But be ready for to get your heart ripped out, like, just be ready for a damn, like, just you know, a dark gritty story that just uh, holds no bars you know Ooh, sorry real quickly i know this ain't related talk about the explosion excitement tonight clemson just knocked out arizona in the ncaa tournament oh yeah big upset but anyways move on go balls tomorrow uh so uh, uh chris i'm gonna assume you picked t2 right I did, of course, yes. I, it's one of my favorites in my top ten of all time. But I was just going to uh, echo what Brad had said before, like you just did, which is just that death sentence is worth a view. John Goodman is a is a hardened criminal, uh, villain, underground uh, firearm dealer is just fucking – it just makes me hard as a rock, so I love it. Mm, mm, oh, Thank oh, you, bro. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. oh, oh, Matthew McConaughey. If you know, you know. So I was uh, about to say, I didn't even think that uh, Wolf of Wall Street was even on this. Uh, it would be in the comedy one if we ever do that tournament Ooh. someday. So, uh, but next matchup definitely probably one of the ever uh, toughest matchups in the entirety of this tournament: Deadpool versus Predator. And uh, damn, I get to start this one off. Fuck. Because Deadpool was hilarious, bloody, actiony, good time. But man, how can you go against the Predator foe? Honestly, it's just pretty much just man meat the entire time. And I'm sorry, Ryan Reynolds, <laughs> you're among the top of the man meat, but there's too much man meat and Predator for me to pick or to like to go against. So I got to pick the Predator, man. For action purposes, not for big butt, you know, uh, titties or anything <laughs> like that. Fuck? Because Predator makes me go, oh! <laughs> wow, god damn it. <laughs> Cut him off. Cut him off, Brad. Cut him off. And by the way, uh, this stream is sponsored by Jack Daniels Bond at Tennessee Whiskey. Just damn! Kidding, we're not, just kidding. We're not sponsored. But uh, We're talking about Deadpool or Predator. Um See. Fucking A, man. Yeah, I mean, I think Deadpool, the action sequences take a backseat to the fact that it's in reality, it's a comedy. So Predator, mm-hmm. and Predator is interesting as well because maybe it's more of a sci-fi flick, but either way, Predator is moving on. Yeah, I agree. Um, Predator really start the first third of the movie is an action movie. Like, it's just, just straight up an action movie. And then it turns, yeah. uh, it turns, it turns Horror. creepy after that. Yeah, it does. It's great. Give me Predator. (laughs) A goddamn sexual Tyrannosaurus. Makes me want to shave every time I watch it. You want ugly motherfucker. But anyways, next matchup, we got Crouching Tiger hit Crouching Tiger Hidden mm. Dragon versus Point Break. And I know our community is obsessed with Point Break. Oh. So Brett or Chris, you get to decide this one. This one now. Or you're the first one. I'm sorry. I won't. Uh, I won't hold it up much. Um, I will say this: I did go back and rewatch Point Break. I haven't seen Crouching Tiger in a while, uh, but Point Break is just one of those uh, things where you know it's also like there. I think Uzi Nine Millimeter was a was a common thread when Brad and I met for the first time years ago, and then also <laughs> Utah. Give me two. <laughs> that was another one. So I'm going Point Break, man. I I concur, dude. I love. I love me some Point Break, man. And I think Keanu might have the most movies on this bracket now that I'm thinking about it. He's got Speed, John Wick, Matrix, John Wick 4. I don't know. Arnold Schwarzenegger has a bunch. And Point Break. That's five for Keanu. That's five. And we didn't put Speed 2 on here. Classic. Hey, Speed 2 doesn't even have Keanu in it. That's true. You son of a bitch. in there, though. Oh, God. 
I can imagine with the foe and that mean going eh, in speed too. But anyways, uh, but let's see here. Chris, what did she yeah. pick? Point break? I did, yes, sir. And Brad, what did she pick? I picked point break as well. I would pick Point Break as well, and the only reason for it is because Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon was my most disappointed watch in the entirety Damn. of this bracket, just because, well, I love a good kung fu movie, but when they add, like, the whole, like, flying and shit and all that, that just took me right out of the movie. <laughs> but the break, cr- but, uh, actually, to be fair, Hero is better. Uh, but, with, the, um... but, but the cave sex, foe, like, give me that all day, every day. But anyways. Uh, right, but you can find that on Pornhub mm. any day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Who was oh uh Jet Lee? Jet Lee was in Hero. That was a superior. I, I yeah, that's why too, especially with that girl, young girl actress too. So I'm going to give that one a watch. <laughs> of course, <laughs> yeah, that's what you're. No, you're right. Yeah. No, I'm talking like the princess. Like, <laughs> fuck you guys. Anyways, next round, Logan versus True Lies. And Brad, you uh, get to pick. You get God. to start us off with that one. So yeah, good luck with this. Oh, that's a tough one, man. We might be pissing oh. some people off. God, that goes. That could go either way. That really is. That's a low key tough matchup that I really didn't think about it now until I'm on the spot. Because you know, honestly, I think if I would have watched Logan again uh, before the tournament, I had a stronger chance. But I, you know, I got to go. True Lies here. Um, it's again, it's just one of those super entertaining Arnold movies, and like this is back when he's on top of his game great action sequences. And then don't forget about Jamie Lee Curtis. And I know my friend in here um, knows about Jamie Lee Curtis because he once froze up a uh, VHS tape, uh, fucked it up, fucked it right up, <laughs> fucked it right up. Um, true story. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go with true lies here, man. You're fired. And, uh, and real quickly, Alan, why that's pretty much why I picked against it. Corny action. Oh, Corny. we all picked against it. <laughs> But anyways, Fo, uh, I hate to say, I, again, we've been pretty much pissing a lot of people off, so w- we might as well continue to trend. If it's the best movie, it's Logan, hands down, because of the drama-ness of that movie. But man, Logan, I'm sorry, you fired. God damn it. <laughs> I almost cried at the end of Logan, you fuckers. Lo- Logan, I was- lo- again. No, hey, hey, again, that, like Bryce about to say. I really wanted to rewatch Logan for this, just for that, because uh, I think it, it had a strong chance of of winning this matchup. But I just I didn't get it. I didn't get around to it. Um, and, and True Lies is one that I just you know it's it's just so entertaining. So. What is and plus Lies the 4K came out for it. So like, come on, people are getting finally. into it. God, finally, I, I, dude. I've heard that it's absolutely atrocious. Well, at least they have a DVD for like you couldn't even well something beyond a DVD. You couldn't find this movie. They didn't even have it on digital. We had to we had to get an email copy of it um, to watch it last year, so it was it was crazy. Um, oh yeah, you did. <laughs> I was fucking. <laughs> but so you know, at least they have something you can get now. Um, and even the DVD was hard to find; like it was like it was rare. That's because of uh, Jamie. Yeah, Lee it's Curtis crazy how easy it is to find porn, but not true lies. <laughs> 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 come on, guys, we got come on, Hollywood, you got to do better than that. Alan said his mom wouldn't have caught him if he had the DVD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it would it never would have gotten stuck on a particular all right. scene. That's all right. right. Oh god. But anyway, it, right. I don't even know where I was going to go with that. But anyway, it's next matchup. Uh, we got the Born Ultimatum versus Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. So, guys, we are at the ultimate ultimatum right now. Are we going to go with Born? Or again, more nostalgia with Star Wars. And uh, I believe it. it's in my turn. It's your turn now? Well, let's continue the upset train with me, man. Like I think Ultimatum is definitely the best of the Bourne trilogy. Absolutely. But man, I just still remember like it was yesterday. Theater, Midnight, Revenge of the Sith. We had a lightsaber tournament in the parking lot. Like, this is definitely, out of all the Star Wars, what is the most action-y Star Wars movie? It's easily Revenge of the Sith. It got the assignment. I'm rewarding it. Star Wars Revenge of the Sith with the win. Nice. Really? Uh, I'm going to go on the absolute opposite end of the spectrum. Uh, as much as I love Revenge, or I mean, well, Revenge of the Sith, yeah, it deserves the the nod to the action and everything, but I still hated, hated the movie. Uh, 
And the Vorn Ultimatum, I think the action in that was sound. I still remember uh, the scene where the camera follows Matt Damon from the jump from one uh, one roof through the window of the next, which I thought was fucking amazing at the time and was blown away by the action in that. I think it's the strongest of the Bourne movies. Give me the ultimatum. Chris, I got six words for you. Mm. If you're not with me, you're my enemy. I'm going Revenge of the Sith here. Yeah, Damn. Star Wars wow. has the high ground. Listen, I, you know, wow. like I said, I'm, I'm not, I wasn't a huge fan of the the Bourne trilogy. I do think Ultimatum was by and far away the best of the three, and I really enjoyed it. But it's Revenge of the Sith. I mean, it's a good I, fucking movie. I, you know, it's tra- it's tragic. You know, it's got some great sequences in there. I do think the score, like, the score is fantastic. It it does have some. Um, it does have some corny like CGI. It's a little over the top at times, but overall, it's it's very entertaining. Backtrack. I'm with you, J Man. Rogue One has great action too. We considered putting on this list because of that. Um, oh yeah, Rogue it One. Is, was... it, yeah, that last act is a straight up war movie. Hey, it had Eatmon in it. It did. It did. It had uh, Danny uh, Danny Donnie Yen in it uh, as a blind man. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going Revenge of the Sith here. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. And um... Interessante. Plus, did you not like the favorite, the best part of Revenge of the Sith is when Conor McGregor comes out of the bathroom? It's like, where the fuck is everybody? <laughs> where the fuck is everyone? He was one yeah. of the kids. Uh, he, I t- he had to take a shit break during Order 66. I can just imagine him as a lead yeah. lad. I can just imagine him as a lead lad. Like, where the fuck yeah. is everybody? All the oh, young my. Jedi are killed. Where the fuck is everyone? <laughs> oh, my God. Anyways, uh, next matchup, Die Hard versus Air Force One. Just real quickly, uh, just say why it is uh, Die Hard just going to the next round. So. Yeah, Die Hard. Oh, sorry. Who's is it? Chris? Chris? Uh, I, it, it, yeah. No, it is Chris's move. So I'm sorry I didn't make this. I just know where we're going with no. this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a uh, with a birdie joke here, and I'm gonna tell Air Force One to get off my plane <laughs> yeah. and send Die Hard on to the next round. I agree. I wish Air Force One had a better matchup because I love that fucking movie. Um, Gary Oldman was a great villain. I, I know, man. But you forget that Gary Oldman's the villain in that. I feel like. Uh, but but Die Hard, Die Hard's gonna win this, man. I'm sorry, Air Force One. I am truly sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Star Wars quote makes in with a Die Hard. But anyways, so it's easily Die Hard for me. So next one, we got the Avengers versus Speed. So Brad, you're up, man. Avengers or Speed? I'm sorry for this birdie, but I'm going to Speed here. Um, I. That's fair. I, I know I, the Avengers was great. Again, it was it was a groundbreaking movie. I remember Birdie took me to the theater to see this in college, actually, um, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Holy shit! They got all the, they got all these fucking guys from these movies in the same movie, like Iron Man and, and Captain America and all this stuff." And it was great. It was fantastic. But I love the fuck <laughs> yeah. out of Speed. I grew up with it. It's got Jeff Daniels in it. Um, Harry Dunn himself, you know, out there just freaking slaying it. But Keanu, this was one of his earlier like action flicks too, and Sandra Bullock. That that duo. It's a shame they never made a sequel with those two. Like, I don't really know how you do a true sequel to this movie though. So, yeah, I guess that doesn't really make sense. But they don't they worked really. It. They worked they worked really well together. I love the movie and I the the concept of that speeding bus. Um, it was fucking you know it was genius, man. It was it just it was really it just kept you on the edge of your seat the whole movie. Give me speed. Uh, so. I'm now terrified to pick the Avengers because I am looking at the chat real quick and um I, yeah. they can't they can't influence you, bud. You gotta Pretty make much your own here. Design. And here's the deal. I love the Avengers. Everybody knows that. I'm a big Marvel guy. But pretty much uh this is what the Avengers is saying right now to speed. Enough! I am a god, you foul creature, and I will not be bullied by <laughs> 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 And this is what Speed says in return puny god so i got i'm going with speed just because again i know where this is going with everybody so i'm picking speed i love it in here i fucking love it if it had a better matchup avengers but i just speed that's not a fair matchup for avengers yeah speed was great man especially the tension at the end when he's on the uh like the the uh the crawler underneath the bus and all that shit, man. I mean, the tension mm-hmm. was that was high stakes at the end of that. I love speed, so yeah, it was gonna be that and just a never day. underrated Sandra Bullock performance, <clears throat> too. Yes, it was. She was great in the movie. 
Mm -hmm. So, uh, all right, our last matchup in the first round, if they will speed round the second round, if they will let you guys mm -hmm. get to vote in here. We got, uh, actually, I need to fix this real quick because it's one word. I've been messing that up. So it is, Ever oh boy, boy, versus Blood Sport. So, uh, Bre actually, I'm first on this one. Yes. This is the well, original, yeah. oh boy, too, the, the foreign. Yeah, this is yes, the original not one, the, not yes. the remake with, uh, the even though remake. Elizabeth Olsen. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, oh boy and Blood Sport. Oh boy, uh, a third act that would pretty much change your life. But <laughs> blood sport <laughs> is one my is probably the guilty pleasure of all time movie, and uh, I feel bad for old boy because yeah, I'll remember the third act, but I was kind of underwhelmed with some of the action scene. It probably had only one good action scene the entirety, but blood sport is a whole tournament full of action, and Shaw Cloth had them going with, with the faces, yeah. <laughs> How could you not pick? Like, how could you pick against that? So, Bloodsport wins for me, <laughs> Chris. Okay. Um, now I, we're gonna go back to uh, some things that we said about some earlier flicks in here. I think that Old Boy is far, far, far superior. I think Old Boy is is, is something everyone should see. I'm so glad that this tournament finally got you fuckers to watch it because I've been advocating for them to watch it for years. I spent fifteen dollars uh, on Netflix to watch that movie, and I, I think I think it's worth it. Okay, because I love the hell out of it, and I think the one take scene with him fighting the guys with the hammer is one of the greatest action sequences in all of cinematic history. But for the sake of being a, an out and out action movie, I think Old Boy exists more in the dramatic end of things. I think Bloodsport is a more realistic action flick, so I go with Bloodsport. My old man, boy, old boy to me unlocked a whole new fear in life that I never really even thought about. <laughs> <in my context. laughs> no, we're not, and of course, we're not going to spoil it because we want you to watch it. Yeah, yeah. you should definitely check it out. And I agree with Chris 100%. <laughs> it's a better movie, but blood sport for the action tournament's moving on, man. I'm picking it. So, all right, that is our first round. Uh, so let's uh, anything in the comic session before we begin. Uh yeah, just a lot of people. Uh, it, for the most part, they've been in blood line. sport love. I love you, chat. Yeah, blood sport. There was Blu-ray I could pick old boy. Most people pick blood sport. Blood sport. Um, speed. Speed was really popular with the people. Oh uh, my gosh! Next. Oh my god! The next round is speed versus blood. Oh my gosh! Revenge of the Sith was popular, and oh, um, there's gonna be some dog shit. Oh man, Imagine we might have to break our rule and let the chat vote between Speed and Bloodsport. Pretty, that's fuck not even you. a hard matchup for me. Well, yeah, fuck me you. I'm, I'm, I might challenge you on that. But anyways, I'm just messing. Uh, Blu-ray asked real quickly if we've seen the remake of Old Boy. I've seen yes. pictures because my boy uh, Jason Smith from Censor Cinema Reviews actually sent me the pictures of Elizabeth Olsen. So, Jason, sorry to call you out right there, but I appreciate you. And that's the only thing I saw of the remake. Other than that, I hear it's dog shit from a horse's ass. Um, <laughs> I have seen that. I haven't heard that in a while. Good callback, dude. I uh, that's great. Uh, but I've seen I've seen the remake. Uh, it's it, it can't hold a candle to the, to the original. I think the um, the fight sequence in there is is really great. But there's just the original one. If if you haven't seen it. Is something to behold, man. You you have to you have to see the original. It's Great like flick. that and the Greasy yeah. Strangler are like the two movies you have to experience once. Yeah. Again, right. I'm and gonna let, you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna right. let you guys boy. know what the Greasy Strangler and, and, is and, later. And, 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 and you and you can get Old Boy on Netflix and the Greasy Strangler. You have to watch on Pornhub. So you make no, your decision on. Well, that you could, but I got lucky enough to watch <laughs> on Amazon Prime for free with ads. <laughs> I'll say this, or, about and, or or actually, for some reason, Amazon called it Watch with AIDS, which is kind of probably appropriate with the movie. So I I don't know. I'll say We're this about old boy. Just be careful about what scenes are significant other than walks in on. Um, yeah, it, please. It's but, just um, one of those that I had problems with in that regard. So, you know, just, um, yeah, it's it's great flick, though. Let's move on to round two, Brady. All right. So, again, gonna... we're going to speed through this. We've already talked about all 64 movies, so pretty much we could yeah. just go quickly with these. So, uh, who went last? Um, I think I went last last time, so I think maybe... Yeah, oh yeah, you did because you did Bloodsport, Chris Bloodsport. So I am first. 
so Actually, Dark Knight that would first. make that would make Chris first this time. Oh my, but my, my bad. Wait, I didn't go first last time. I don't think so. No, Fuck it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Just, I, I will go. No way, man. No, Brad, you talked about old boy first, so you went. I thought I went last. No, 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 no. Time. Sorry, I went Bloodsport first. I think. Chris, oh, so Chris, yeah. you are first. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm bingo, baby. Let's go. All right, not much to talk about here. For me, it's the Dark Knight. God, okay. make it hard for the B man here. Okay. Um, God, we are talking action movies here. Think about the action, though, man. The action. Whatever, is good. So you're good. Think about it. I'm going first blood, man. I'm sorry. I, I have to do it. I, uh, I love Dark Knight, but we're talking action sequences. I think about when I think action, I think Sloan in the woods just fucking slaying all these guys, but keeping them alive still because he's he's generous like that. Um, or do you think about all the the action taking place in the Dark Knight? Yeah, so uh, <laughs> wait, wait, why did it got deleted? Why did it get deleted? <laughs> why did it get what's it what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> you all are high as a fucking kite. No, bro. I'm not high because like the dark knight is more of a thriller mystery that has some good action to it. First blood is all action, so first blood. I love it, dude. Sly, bring it home, sly. I like it. Now, Chris, don't get me wrong, Dark Knight superior movie. If it was Dark Knight Rises, I'd be picking Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, but it, the Dark Knight is such a great blend of action and. But we're not picking the and superhero. We're picking know, one word: vigilante action. It's fucking. It's wild. Again, that it would be first blood. The action alone matter, is not the one. end all be all, which means Dark Knight had strong consideration for me. But it did. I just think it's, it, it the, wasn't the an action, easy decision. Yeah. It, what? Yeah, it wasn't easy. The the action. In, in in first blood just, just stands out it's much more memorable for me um than it is in dark knight i although it has great sequences it does it does have you know the motorcycle sequences it's got you know a great score attached to these sequences some good fight scenes but i gotta go first blood man so all right so uh next match real quick so this is um me <laughs> or brad first my brad first casino royale or the rock go you already know i'm going casino royale here man um Same. parkour yeah parkour my ass yeah parkour alone and the uh, ball smashing too so what uh, happened Chris, the rock I is more of an action flick than casino royale i don't know man casino royale again it's not the end all be all either but casino royale i think the <laughs> you parkour see this scene chat like I see the part. I, I think the parkour, the parkour scene alone in Casino Royale is better than any action sequence in The Rock. Well, Chris, real quickly, let me just tell you what Casino Royale's thinking right now. <laughs> that last matchup nearly killed me. Yeah, God it adds in. It adds in suspense, but it's still through and through an action. I think sequence The Rock should have won if we were applying the same logic here. My I logic, know, but, right, man, it's, it's the, but it's the begin. It's beginning with the uh, chase scene. It's the third act with the building. And uh, and just the like the casino sequence. and the and the and the freaking stairwell fight, like they're all great. I Chris, I here's what I'll say: it's not necessarily action alone; it's memorable action. And mm -hmm. Casino Royale wins that battle for me uh, over The Rock. I think that it has some great action in The Rock, but, but it's The not Rock as memorable. is more memorable in the dialogue. The action department, Casino Royale, is more memorable. Yeah, definitely. So okay, I well, know we pissed off Chris, so we need to go to the next round. <laughs> I'm good. I just hate to see. I know. Uh, I hate to see we, we ain't perfect, but anyways, next matchup, real quick, is Kill got... Bill: The Whole Bloody Affair versus Edge of Tomorrow. Chris, you get the first pick this time. I get or the actually, first pick. No, sorry, I get the first pick. You get yeah, yeah. So in my turn, uh, Kill Bill: uh, The Whole Bloody Affair. Uh, I agree with that. Yes. Or, I'm gonna go with that as well. Brad, would you go Move with that it. as well? Uh Kill Bill of Edge Tomorrow. Yeah, I think I would do that too. Sweet. The foot fetish moves on. So Brad, <laughs> here you go. Uh Mission Impossible, uh, uh -oh. Ghost Protocol or the Dark Horse of the Tournament, the Demolition Man. I'm going with Ghost Protocol here, man. Um, I am. I think it's again, memorable action sequences, Birch Khalifa, Tom Cruise running down the building. It stands out. Um, when you uh, there's no, I, I love Sly, 
but he's never ran down a building, the, the, the tallest building in the world, just for the sake of cinema. So I'm going <laughs> Ghost Protocol here. But he does have helmet sex, so I'm going Demolition Man. <laughs> <laughs> Rut row, Ragnus. Um, well, like I said, man, I, Ghost Protocol is my favorite of the bunch. Nothing can Fuck. top, literally nothing can top the Wiz Khalifa, so I'm going to go Ghost Protocol. <laughs> No, my dark horse. <laughs> I think I legitimately had it in my final four. A raising Arizona, Bertie? Yeah, it was my raising hey. Arizona. Yeah. Hey, don't you fucking bring that up to me. <laughs> it always has to get mentioned. I was getting ready to say, you all pick Raiders of Long Sark over Demolition Man, but you don't pick it. Okay, you know what? That's just a different Dude, different Mission Possible, th- that franchise, four on. Some of the best action movies you'll ever see. Oh, we no, it's all... absolutely phenomenal. Oh, definitely. We could have put all four of those movies in this bracket. Except for the first for one. Shit, I'm sorry, Brooke. But, uh, well, the first one. Yeah, well, first what, one's Chris, what'd you but do I... to piss off Brooke? I'm saying four, I th- five, I six, think she seven. Was, she was, I think she wanted Demolition Man in there. Hey, get pissed off at Brad, too, Brooke. Like, I, I, I appreciate you. Yeah, he's the one who on started it. I love the movie, but you guys know I'm a huge fucking Mission Impossible fan. I just, I just, I love the film. I know, it's, it's so good. And I remember watching Fallout with Brad in the theater, and we both walked out saying it's the best action movie of all time at that point. So that might have been a little bit of an exaggeration, but we, well, we really had a good time. School, but, uh, but anyways, on. next matchup here. This, Brad, this is an interesting one for you. I cannot wait to get your take on this one. But uh, so let's see here. But it's oh, actually it is Brad's pick. So Bad Boys Two or RoboCop? This is really hard because I just watched uh, Bad Boys Two the other day. You guys know how I feel about the, uh, you know, the Russian Grim Reaper. And all that stuff. But, you know, I just, I, I love uh, RoboCop so much. It's one of my favorite movies. I have to pick RoboCop here. I have to do it. Yeah. And, Brad, I said it for the last matchup between RoboCop and Upgrade. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> God damn it, man. I was going to go Bad Boys too. If anybody, I cared. almost did. But, man, it's just RoboCop. It's just, it's just something. Bad Boys special. 2 is a better action flick. Oh, man. Hey, yeah, but, that's right. Chris, that's right, Alan. Bad Boys choo, doesn't have a video choo, game. Choo, choo, choo. <laughs> hey, you know uh, what, Chris? That matchup? Actually, you know what? I can't say that by myself. I, I need some assistance. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> I tell you, man. What a great world that was built up in that movie, dude. That's all I got to say in RoboCop. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, everything about it is perfection. So, All right, what we got here? Is it my go or is it yours, Birdie? Uh, I believe it is mine because Brad picked RoboCop first. So it's going to be between GoldenEye versus The Matrix. Again, GoldenEye, nostalgia, love this movie with all my childhood heart. But The Matrix was a cinematic game changer in the genre of sci-fi and action. So The Matrix. Matrix for mm. me as well. Yeah, I'll go with it. I, uh, I'll i go with The Matrix on this one. If it was a different matchup, GoldenEye still might have had a chance. Matrix and RoboCop next round. That's going to be oh. interesting, dude. Oh, oh, oh. Battle of the sci-fi action movies. I love That's going to be interesting. Ooh. What about this one? John Wick 4 versus Mad Max Fury Road. And Damn. this is Chris's first. Uh, it's a no contest for me. Fury Road all day, man. I think it's the Ooh. purest action film of all time. Wholeheartedly, I feel like it's the... I mean, if we're talking about action out and out, it is nothing but action. Honestly, like, the narrative is, writ- is written into the action. You know what I mean? So, like, it's just mm-hmm. nothing but nonstop action. So, Fury Road mm-hmm. for me. You know, honestly, I say the same thing about John Wick 4, though. The whole movie is just action. And it's just it's one scene after another. It's, you know, each scene kind of like outdoes the scene prior to it. And you don't think it will, especially coming off the heels of John Wick 3, which was um, still a great movie, but the weakest in the franchise. And you come back with four and then uh, the first line of the movie. Hey, John, are you ready to kick some ass? Yeah. Yeah. Um, And he comes out there and I'm telling you. As much as I love Fury Road, I again I think John Wick, like I said in the last round, is one of the best action movies out there. Um, the the the, the cinema, like you know, the way these scenes were shot and directed, were you know, it was it's it's, uh, it's groundbreaking. I, I'm going with John Wick four. All right, uh, and give me I, we haven't talked about this at all tonight, but but Bill Skarsgård is the villain in this movie. 
Yeah. Looking fantastic. He was great. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Chris, can you help me out real quick? Uh, what's one fleet yeah. Corso's famous lines he likes to use on pickums? Um, fuck John Wick. No, uh, <laughs> it begins. I think, it begins with N. I don't know. Like it's something like not. Oh, I remember, Brad. Not so fast, my friend. I'm going to go the opposite here because Mad Max Fury Road gets the win because here's the thing with John Wick 4. When you say like it up, like each action scene tops the other, honestly, it's just like a kind of like a formulaic like rinse and repeat. Uh, pretty much it all feels the same, but different action sequences. While Mad Max Fury Road, it is all action, but I feel like each of those action scenes are a bit different at times. And that's what makes it more entertaining for me. So Mad Max Fury Road gets the win. That's fair. I like Birdie, it. I'm glad that it's Birdie, fun. you're getting jerked off the next time I see you, bud. You got we it. We see we blow this guy, Chris. I buy that for a dollar. I'm gonna I'm gonna say Hey man, I'm taking you to Waffle House and that good Mexican joint out. Well, by don't your take house. me to the Atlanta Waffle House. Uh, oh, but... oh yeah, they're not there, but I'll take you <laughs> out to that one by your house and the Mexican joint the next time I see you. Yeah, my buddy. Man. My Michael. man, let's Could've finish this. Damn strong, margaritas. <laughs> there could be hippies out on your street, but you don't even care because you we got a margarita get... in hand. Actually, I can't make that joke with Brother Fluff. I love Brother Fluff too much. I was going to make a joke about the one dollar uh, margaritas that are mostly water. But anyway, so let's move on to the next match: Le Lethal Weapon versus Top Gun Maverick. Uh, Brad, you're first up. Top Gun Maverick. I'm doing the upset here. I don't know. You, I, it might not even be Ooh. an upset. It's not really an upset. Yes. Yeah. But but it does fight against nostalgia. A lot of people love Lethal Weapon for that. But Maverick was just uh, one of those action uh, once once in a lifetime theater experiences for me. So give me Maverick. And um, to quote Lee Corso again, but this time in the positive manner, Brad, good pick. <laughs> love it. Yeah, that's what was going for me as well. So, all right, we finished that one. So let's go I'm ahead and talk about that. Uh, go over here with uh, shaving Ryan's privates versus John uh, Wick. Hmm. Birdie, it's on you. Uh, uh, this again, like I've been saying, it's got to take a special war movie uh, to for me to pick it. Say, uh, shaving Ryan's privates is indeed that good of a uh, war movie and um, a never type of genre movie. Uh, but man, I love me some John Wick, though. Man, give me John Wick. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is the one war movie that actually made a difference for me. I, I felt like they were uh, mm -hmm. most of them are very repetitious. I think no war film is, has done a better job of putting you like first person POV, the Normandy, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the beach storming scene uh, when it cuts the uh, it, it cuts the score, it cuts the music and, and the guy, you know, Tom Hanks's character is having this sort of panic attack on the beach. Uh, it's this first person type thing. I think that in and of itself is worthy of moving on to the next level man no other war movie has put you there as well as that one has so shaving ryan's privates for me man and brad before you say something chris brought up just the excellent point like if any war movie does the best job to put you into that like just the realistic world it's definitely that movie and i know i give this movie like war movie shit but if i am going to respect one war movie it's definitely that one so brad tough decision man what are you going with I expect, you know, I respect uh, Medal of Honor um, for the best Normandy scene of all time. Oh, I was like, um, Call of Duty? What are you talking about? No, Medal of <laughs> Honor. This is, I'm telling you, Medal of Honor 2, I think, or maybe it was actually the first one. I can't remember. It was epic. PS2, if you were there, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but no, in all honesty, though, that, that Normandy scene, of, of course, it's, it's, it's one of the best um, examples of an action scene you'll ever see. It's, it's absolutely like just so tense. And so just anxiety inducing that you'll just like you, you like like Chris said, you'll feel like you're there. And I love it for that. Uh, but John Wick, like I said in the last round, man, it's just it's such a, a, a world building movie that spawned a whole franchise because of the world that it built in that movie. It, it built this whole world of underground assassins and their kind of uh, code of ethics and their way of life and all that stuff that could spawn as many movies as you wanted to make and spinoffs and series as you could do it. 
and you could you could live in that world in a long for you know for a long time. Plus, Willem Dafoe's there, like I said earlier. I'll take I'll take John Wick here. Um, and again, yes. it's, it's groundbreaking. It, again, like it, it it definitely generated a whole new kind of subgenre of action movies that we see in Nobody, Sisu, all these other um, movies that came out after this that kind of follow that same kind of game plan. Um, it, yeah, it's it's great. It's kind of like the modern day Matrix movie um, in that regard. And it, ironically enough, it has Keanu Reeves in it. Yeah, the Budiaga gets to make it. So, uh, so let's go <laughs> from Boogie Yaga to Booty Yaga. Hey, everybody like Booty Yaga is your damn OnlyFans name. The Diva Ball yeah. Twist Sweet Booty Yaga. <laughs> Anyways, next matchup, Taken versus the Terminator. So uh, Brad got to pick last, meaning I did. So Chris, you're up. I am. Am I? Cool. Yep. Taken round. versus the Terminator. Uh, the Terminator. Uh, Brad? Terminator, easy for this one. Yeah, I'm sorry, Taken. Just a bad matchup. I know I said a lot of good things about Taken earlier. And it doesn't matter. I know a lot of people are upset about Gladiator. Gladiator, it would have lost here either way. Doesn't matter. Terminator or Glad or Gladiator. Gladiator, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Just follow us a brief porn <laughs> name for free. So I probably yeah. made a porn star of rich. But anyway, Rector so, damn near killed her. Okay, let's go on. So uh, are you not? It's a time about the uh, face off versus Commando, and I get the no. Brad Brad goes face off. Yeah. You already know. I could eat a peach for hours. Uh, yeah, okay. it's hard to ignore the peach, man. So I'm going with face off too. Man, hell yeah! Again, bad match for, for hours. Man, dude, that's the problem. Brad, you toss a hoss for hours. I could toss a hoss for hours too, bro. You know, <laughs> you Chris, you know that. <laughs> My guy. <laughs> so, uh, nobody yeah. versus Roadhouse, and I'm going with Roadhouse again. This is the original, so I'm going with the original Roadhouse. What the fuck? Where did everybody go? What the fuck is this Jesus piece of him. shit? Road I got a tip baby. for Let's you. Go. Oh, I was going nobody here, man. Wow, uh, really? I was going, yeah, I was going to do it. I just, you Pain know, nobody, hurt, baby. The action so we got, sequences of nobody are fantastic, man. They're fantastic. Oh, yeah. So we got yeah. Roadhouse. Roadhouse is it, though. I got a yeah. tip for you, Dalton. Don't let anybody get this close. <laughs> and Brad, do you have your watch on you? Because we're getting near. Oh, yeah, I'll find it. Yeah, no good, good. So, all right. So, last round of round two, and guys, it'll be time to vote, and we are going to need your help because this tournament has been hot. So, uh, T two versus the Predator. So, uh, Chris, is your go? Is it my go? Uh, did you? Did you not pick? No, I picked Roadhouse first. So, well, no, I did pick Roadhouse first, and Chris, you picked Roadhouse after that. So, yeah, it's your go. Is it now? E is is it okay? Because e fair enough. Okay, so speed round: Predator, Terminator Two, Terminator 2. Arnold versus Arnold. T two, baby. T two for me too, baby. And again, Predator, just a tough matchup. It is. It okay. is. It is a. It is a story of matchups here. So uh, I picked T two as well. So uh, Point Break or True Lies? So Brad. Give me point break, Birdie. I'll take it. Point break. Uh, Brad, you're fired. True lies. <laughs> so, Chris, it's up to you. Point break. Damn. Yeah. We're going skydiving, bitches. Sorry, man. So, no, it's okay. Utah. I, I understand the love. Me too. So, uh, Star Wars Revenge of the Sith or Die Hard? It starts with me first. Star Wars I'm sorry, but Die Hard. What does it look like? I'm ordering a fucking pizza over here. Give me Die Hard. Oh, sorry, it's not. Yeah, so it's not even your fucking pick. I'm sorry. No, Way to go! It, it, it doesn't make any difference. Welcome to the party. Pal. I know. Die yeah. Hard. I'm, yeah, I do I was like, we all know where that was going. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Brad got excited. I get, but here we go. Save the best for last for round two. Speed Bloodsport. Chris, you lucky son of a bitch. You get to start off with this one. Speed, baby, give it to me all day. Speed, give it to me. Easy, Fuck. easy. I was going blood sport. Well, speed wins. Okay, well, but now it's time for the yeah, people. Yeah, that's a, it's an illegal drug, so I can't blame this. this movie. Is going to be found for drug use later. So, 
<laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, so here we go, guys. Now this is your chance to vote. So let's go ahead and get this party started. Brad, find your watch. Uh, let's do a minute for each round uh, for now, um, for these first couple rounds. And uh, so you'll, you guys will have a minute to vote. You guys are going to take us to the to the end of this tournament. You guys are going to pick the winner. I know a, guy, a lot of people have disagreed with us from time to time, but you guys have the opportunity now. So it's time to begin. And Birdie, I am ready whenever you are, my friend. All right, homie, oh, I'm uh, just making my work easier in the future. So who wins? And what is our match? Uh, tell me the matchup again. First Blood versus Casino Royale. Ooh, good one. And uh, we'll we'll continue to do our picks too, just as you know. So yeah, can, it, plus there could be a chance for a tiebreaker too. So yeah, that's true. Uh, Let me know when to start, Birdie. It's a start. And whose turn is it to uh, go first? Uh, let me go back to the bracket here because um, I didn't get a chance to pick at all. That means Chris went first. So Brad, you you up first. First Blood versus Casino Royale. I'm going Casino Royale here. I am the same way. I'm going to be Casino Royale as well, and I'm going to give me a, a quick refresh on my drink. Yeah, you do that, Birdie. What well, the poll's going. I'm going to be on the opposite end of the spectrum. I'm going to say First Blood. Interesting. You went against First Blood with The Rock, but not with Casino Royale. That is true, yes. That's Actually, fucking crazy. I thought you liked Casino Royale. You don't like Bond? I do I love Casino Royale, but I wanted it. You know, if the Dark Knight had been here, then I would have. It would have been Dark Knight all day. But, uh, Chris, let me ask you this: What's your favorite Bond movie? A favorite Bond movie? That's an interessante. I love this one. It's my favorite of the Daniel Craig's. I think if I had to go with one overall, um, what was the one that you recommended Time, that I watch? Time. Oh, sorry. Uh, and that is going to be. 12 votes, 75%. First Blood beats Casino oh, Royale. Oh, oh, broken. Oh. I, I will uh, spoil this for my own bracket. Uh, Casino Royale won the whole thing for me. That's my favorite. Oh, yeah. damn. Uh, my, yeah. my pick's still in it. So, um, Chris, you didn't answer the question. What's your favorite uh -huh. Bond movie? What, uh, what, on, uh, on her, I think, Bert's, I think, uh, typing out the next one. Uh, which I think it's on Her yeah. Majesty's Secret Service. Oh, that's fucking Ooh. fantastic, dude. Yeah, I so you love made Brad that. happy. You made Brad happy uh, on that. Such an underrated movie. Yeah, I think that one is uh is, is sort of um there's a lot of heart in that one and it's not found in the other ones, and I love that about it. It's um it, nobody even thinks of George Lazenby as a bond who who was the bond in that movie, and he's the he, he had the one movie, is the only bond to only have one movie. Nobody says, Oh, George Lazenby my favorite. But that movie was Super underrated. It does have a lot of heart. That's the one Brad, movie. Brad, I am ready when you are. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm ready. Go ahead, Birdie. You went. Yeah, I right, went. Cool. And uh, and real Party quickly, went. uh, that uh, this has been uh such a heat of tournament. I need to cool off a bit. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, thank God, I had a um, I had out. a shootalation problem. No, premature Premature shootalation. Yeah, yeah, premature shootalation. <laughs> you you so, prematurely so. <laughs> shot your ready whip. Damn, that's there you go. I got uh, for you guys oh, who are not God. aware, 30 seconds left. We'll give you a little extra time because of the goofiness. But we have Kill yeah, Bill versus uh, Ghost Protocol, Mission Impossible 4. Who's first this time, Birdie, plus, for us? Plus, I want you all to hear the greatest sound. One of my favorite sounds in the entire world. Oh, I didn't do it that time. I apologize. So anyway, who's wow. first this time, Birdie? Uh, sorry, real you quickly. Are. Uh, you premature shootalation. So and the cream. Hey, uh, somebody so, make uh, somebody make a T-shirt out of that premature shootalation. Oh, we. Oh, don't worry, we are. Uh, so let's see here. Um, uh, Brad, I want to say I'm first on this one. I, you are. I'll be ahead. honest with you. I kind of forgot at this point, but uh, I'm actually going to go with Kill Bill, Bloody Affair. Chris? Oh, yeah. It, oh, that's Kill Bill uh, for me, for sure, yeah. Damn, man. I was going to go with Ghost Protocol. Time, Birdie. Time is up. Let's Time. see what won. All right. Uh, sorry. Let me put the drink down real quick. Um, so let's see here. Uh, 14 votes, 64%. <laughs> we got a bunch of foot fetishes in the house. So it is Kill Bill. Ooh, I love it. Kill I Bill know. and First Blood being the semifinals in this this this. 
one away before going to the final four. That's fucking crazy, man. I, like I never would have expected lot. that. I never would have expected that. Oh, man. But talk oh. about Yeah, we're bringing out the big guns now. So let me get this, this question is, This is a fucking here. tough one. Robocop versus the Matrix is the next matchup. Um, Chris, you yeah. go ahead and take it first while Chris is, or Bert is typing it out. What do you got? Here? I'm ready when you are. Go ahead, Bertie. Oh, man. Honestly, for me, I think, oh, man, I, there's so much nostalgia here, like personal relationships with these movies. Man. I'm upset with myself here, but I think I have to go Matrix, man. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Um, I, I, and that, that bugs me because I... I don't know why, man. I just think the, the Matrix just has some sort of special... I just have a, a connection with that movie, so I have to go Matrix. What do you guys think? Uh, I'm still Chris, going... Oh, oh, sorry. sorry. It's Brass. No, sorry. It's Brass. Robocop, it's Brass. though, man. Yeah, I'm still going Robocop here, man. I think this is uh, just one of those just old time kind of like classic revenge movies is one of the first ones that they made. Um, I love the I, I, you know, I just I, you know, Paul Verhoeven built such a good world here in Detroit in this movie that. Uh, you know, I just love it, man. You know, the, the, did the, the, he build it or did he just copy it? Copy from what? From real life? No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, Brad, Detroit's already a haven for uh, technology. <laughs> Mo modern, uh, modern life, I'll give you that. But back in the 80s, um, no, I, I think it was very ahead of its time. It was very, uh, uh, you know, it was very just like, you know, just like this whole thing with all the, the, the way the, the corporation owns the cops and, and, uh, the technology and the, the the moral dilemmas of of turning the human into a machine without his you know consent yeah all that stuff is fantastic i i take robocop all the way i think and it's I'm fantastic picking matrix oh the matrix oh Yo. time is up birdie time is up birdie time is up um, oh, oh, well, let me take a gander real quick uh oh we think i've ended because it was getting close brad uh, and before I reveal the results, is it weird to put some uh, cool hip into my uh, Jack and Coke, or is that cool, back cool. home? Though? Just do it. No. Just do it. Add it Just in. Fly, it. Bobby. Thank you, David. All right. Well, before that. I add it, I need to get the results here. Uh, Robocop beats the Matrix. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck I, I, I tell you, <laughs> I, I love the fucking movie. It's brutal. For the 80s, are you kidding me? With the action sequences, with the blood that it shows, the gore? True. The brutality True. of this Ed two hundred nine shooting this guy out the window. Nothing beats it. It's is like it, it's honestly it's so just gruesome and 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 grim. It's just it's fucking great. Let's see here, uh, Fury Road or Maverick. You just let me know when you're ready. And David, Dave, Davy said Clarence over Hans Gruber and RoboCop. I agree. He's one of the best villains. He's he's an underrated action villain. The guy from fucking. Uh, that 70s show coming in here and just fucking being the most brutal guy you'll ever meet. Bitches leave. He's just fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, yeah. It's I awesome. wouldn't tell I bitches to leave, but yeah, I get it. <laughs> I know you would. All but, right. Anyway. Uh, you ready? Go ahead, Bert. Yeah, I'm ready. Hit it. All right. Go. All right. And uh, before I make my pick, we're going to just try it. This might be absolutely nasty, but we'll see. Fuck it. It's a Jack we float. Got? As you went, man. Oh, I called that a belching dip. You know, just uh, Jack just creamed on you. Oh, God. Uh, anyways, so Austin, what's going on? SBC Unleashed. Hopefully all is going well. And congratulations to 300 subscribers, man. Proud of you. Yes, much con oh, yeah. many congratulations. That's a, that's, a, that's, that's, a, that's a big step. Yeah, that's a tough number to get to, man. I I remember when we got there, it it took a while. It took it it took a long time to get there. Um, and it was very exciting. So so congratulations. That's a good uh, that's a good uh milestone. Yeah, absolutely. It was Alan. Why? Uh, but is it my turn? In my turn. Your turn now. Uh, I'm yeah. actually gonna go with a surprising pick here. Uh, last year I would have gone Top Gun Maverick. This year, Mad Max Fury Road. Chris, let me hear it. Fury Road for me, buddy. Um, I love this fucking. I think out and out, as far as action is concerned, I think it's out and out the best action movie. I mean, spoiler alert, it won my bracket. Okay, so I think it's the best action Which one? flick. A Fury Road. I think it's Ooh, out okay. and out. 
I think it's the best action film purely based on action adrenaline. It's nonstop. It starts. It doesn't stop. It's action through and through. The narrative is written through the action. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like they, they built action around the narrative. They built narrative into the action. Each set piece is different. It's, and, and tons, if you guys have ever seen the making of this, so much work went into making this like real. None of it's CGI. It's all like people actually doing these stunts. Old school. It's, it's, I love it. So it, it, it's always going to be that for me. The practical yeah, effects, are, the practical effects are bar none, but it does not compete with the practical effects of Top Gun Maverick. I'm, you're talking putting people in fucking jets, people passing out, doing crazy shit. I'm going with Mavi, baby. One but what of the about best the guitar? The, Man, they the still, they put they did put uh, Tom Hardy on the front of a of a, uh, that car though. What a lovely day! That's true. And, that, and that, no, no, the, like I will say hour. yes, they are very comparable from a practical effect standpoint. Um, but but Maverick was just fucking so fucking tense, man. Like I actually just was just I cared, you know. I mean, I was sitting there, I was like, oh man. And when the, all this hype up for the mission that came at the end of the movie. And when the mission actually got there, I felt all the hype that they're talking about all movie. You know, it's like this thing. You're like, nobody's going to like, somebody's going to fucking die in this. They went there. I was like, Oh, somebody is going to die. I thought Tom Cruise was going to die. It, you know, it was, yeah, it was fucking tense, but uh, Bernie, the time has been up for a minute. Let's see what wins here. Sorry. I was enjoying my drink because actually the cool whip in this drink actually is good. <laughs> well, cool. I it's told never you, a bad dude. thing. Yeah. It's never a bad thing. You dump it uh, in you there, buddy. You're bound to, well, we can't put amen, it in amen, other brother. places. Um, but anyways, Brad, 16 votes, which, by the way, we're breaking records with the number of votes, so we appreciate you all for making this successful so far. This is why we love doing tournaments, because you all's voting power makes a difference. But who wins? 68%, 16 votes. Fury Road, Mad Max gets nice. the move on. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. Fantastic flick. I love. I love it. And uh, so let's see here. I'm going to put that there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go over here. And we're going to go uh, shaving. Oh. oh, John. Oh, no, excuse me. Excuse me. John Wick and the Terminator. What a oh. fucking tough matchup. Let me know when you're ready, Bertie. Uh, oh, I think I'm first over my drink. That would have not been good. I think I'm first here now. I'm just gonna uh, go ahead and get started. I'm gonna get John. started away. I'm gonna get started away. I, I, I'm almost that. ready. So no, it's fine. I'm gonna get started away typing out. Fine. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Terminator here. Um, as much as I love John Wick, ready. Uh, that Bertie, that go ahead, Bertie. That experience we had the other night with Terminator. Uh, mm -hmm. again, it's just such a fantastic movie, man. It's uh, yeah, it, it's a perfect blend of action, sci-fi, and horror that you've never seen before. Give me Terminator. Oh, my turn. Um, East, <clears throat> I'm sorry. As much as I love the John Wick franchise, I'm with Brad. The ever night, I forgot how much I love the Terminator. It's awesome. So, John Wick, I know you're the Budiaga, but you have been terminated. <laughs> he changes it every time. <laughs> it was the it was the Budiaga. The and that's the, 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 the Budiaga. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Let me actually pronounce it correctly. It's the uh, Budiaga. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just did just a. I think Brad was yeah. mid sip. So the booty auger uh, got his ass. Uh, I got your ass. Got uh, his fucking ass. Get your ass away from there. Oh man, it's uh. But anyway, <laughs> shit. I got your ass. Uh, but Chris, where do you go with, buddy? The Terminator. Oh, I was no like, doubt, where buddy. Where did you go? I was like, speaking of camouflage. <laughs> No doubt, man. Yeah, Terminator all day for me, man. Uh, time birdie. <laughs> that son of a bitch took my pants. <laughs> so, all right, hey, let me go he ahead. He took my in. pizza. Thirteen votes, eighty-five percent. The Terminator. Fuck yeah, I'd love to see it, I, uh, dude. We're gonna oh, yeah, are yeah. we gonna get a Terminator a T one T two matchup here soon? <laughs> Could that happen? <laughs> oh, you that dirty bastard! That's more dirtier than my drink. But we move on. So the face off <laughs> and road. <Whoa>. <laughs> this is a this is a cool one. I love this. Bertie, that That's is cool. on you, my friend. Uh who wins uh Roadhouse 
or what was damn it, I forgot again the alcohol is kicking. Oh, face off. Face Thank off. you, bro. Uh I was about to I was almost honestly almost typed in Facebook, but it's face off. So there we go. Brad, are you ready? I'm ready, hit it. All and right. it's on you, Birdie. Which one do you uh, got? It's it's a no contents at this point. So sorry, Roadhouse. If it was a remake, more to consider. But face off for me with the win. You can't, you right, can't let's ignore see the what peach. this is about. I'm Caster yeah, Troy. Yeah, uh, give me. Oh, sorry. Face off all day. You know. You know what it's like right now. It's like I got all the whiskey in this room, <laughs> and my pink Wheatney in the other room. It's like, where the fuck is everybody? <laughs> where the fuck is everyone? <laughs> and a qu- good question, though, uh, Blu-ray. It's not really a question, but just a statement. Con Air is another great action movie. We really wanted to add Con Air into this tournament, but we had it last year, and we didn't want to do a lot of repeats from last year. You should you should see the the amount of movies that didn't make the list. A oh, lot of great movies. We had like oh, what, Brad? Totally over two hundred movies to talk over. Yeah, a lot of great movies. Uh, I'm I'm with you guys on on uh, Face Off though, hundred percent. Time is up, Birdie. <clears throat> oh, sorry, went down the <clears throat> wrong pipe. Um, 13 votes, 54%. Oh, excuse me, 14 votes, 57% face off. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, man, what a freaking lead eight matchup we got right there. Birdie, we should put, uh, we should have put Broken Arrow on this, on this list, dude. I don't even oh, know what that is, but okay. Travolta and Christian Slater, fucking classic. All right, great, T2 great point break. I'm sure this is not going to be a contest, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, you let me know when you're ready. You want to go a minute and a half this time, minimum? Because uh, we're, well, we're, the- we're not done with this round yet. Oh, yeah, you're right. Never mind. Let's so go T2 and uh, Chris is on you too. Break. And I'm ready when you are. You hit it, Chewie. And, uh, and since you guys, uh, real quickly, since you guys have uh, already established who your all's winners of the tournament was, I'll go ahead and mention mine. Lion King? I picked T pick two. Well, if Lanky were in it, it always wins. But T <laughs> two is the one I picked. That's a g- uh, yeah, that actually, you know what, Chris, you're gonna like this. Um, mm-hmm. you know what my championship was? It was Casino Reveal. Royale versus Inception. <laughs> And Ooh. I voted that motherfucker out in the first round because, <laughs> because you made wow. a good point. Because you made a good point. But Terminator Two, if I actually were to uh, true to my action genre uh, interest, it probably would have been the 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 opposition of Casino Royale. I would say, mm. that. well, mm. or or Terminator or Terminator. I hate this matchup here. Do because his theme. I, That's I from Broken Arrow, Birdie. I know, but still. Both these flicks here, but they fucking. I mean, who whose go was it? Did you all already reveal? Just go, your just answer? go, just reveal it. Reveal. Well, it. I, just, uh, I just don't think it was a hard decision. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I love both of these, man. Uh, Terminator Two has so much heart, man. And maybe I. Okay, so uh, to be fair, I uh, they, they used to have a ride at Universal. My dad took me there when I was maybe nine years old or something. I shouldn't even tell this story because I think it's going to bias everybody. So I uh, I went there. I went there with <laughs> the my time dad is up I anyway. Like, I was maybe yeah, so okay, great. So I went there when I was maybe nine years old. No my content. dad, right? He died the year later, but we went to the the T two like the three D glasses like theater experience there. So I just have such a soft spot for that movie. But uh, Point Break's fucking amazing as well. A hard spot or a soft spot. I'll go with you, buddy. I've got a hard spot for it. <laughs> I went to that same uh, that same thing, Chris. That was actually really cool. That T two three D experience at, at Universal. That was fucking yeah, cool. man. Yeah, but uh, I thought been... you never went to uh, Universal, Brad. I've been there a couple times, but it's been a long time. If it, any reference, Jaws was well. Here's still me, there, the only one that's been to Universal. <laughs> what yeah. the fuck is everybody? <laughs> Jaws was still there. Back to the Future. T2, yeah, dude. All that was Jaws. there the last time I went. Yeah, yeah, dude. Oh, Jaws, the, the ride was fucking awesome. That was a great. I ride. cannot wait to go to Universal in October. Like it's going to be a bucket list checked off. Like two bucket lists actually. It's fucking great. Uh, T two obviously for me too. Die Hard Speed next round, Birdie. I'm yeah, ready. and uh, real quickly, it was uh, thirteen votes, seventy six percent T two. So I'm ready when you are. Okay, Hit it, Chewy. Speed versus Die Hard. What the? F- oh, good luck with that. 
Oh, I'm glad the people are deciding this one officially. And, yeah, uh, this is fucking. And who goes on this one? I, it's my turn now. Um, Your turn and, now. And uh, I think I'll probably go with. Honestly, I'm more of a speed guy. Um, I think just in my gut, I, I think I love Die Hard, but Speed to me has just always been one of those movies I've been drawn to. And it might be because I, I grew up with it. I didn't grow up with Die Hard. Um, but give me Speed. I'll take Speed. Uh, I am going to go with the Die Hard because of one Mr. Hans Gruber, great villain. Uh, and of course, John McClane uh, with uh, Bruce Willis, he pretty much changed the extra genre forever. So speed could actually be a thing. So uh, without uh, Die Hard, there'd probably be no speed with Keanu Reeves' this type action hero. So I'm going with uh, Die Hard. Ooh. Okay, fair. Uh, I mean... Fear. Thumbs up, Birdie. The chat will decide. I was gonna. I'll, I'll probably go with speed, just because I think it's an out and out more. You know, Die Hard always has the the conundrum of is it a Christmas film? Is it a action? Mm. Whatever. Speed is a true blue action flick. You know what I mean? <sighs> Start y'all to ra- stop. So, y'all ready for this? Anyways, what the fuck was that? No, uh, where I said y'all ready for this? Okay, okay, yeah, come on, man, yeah. Yeah. come on, man, don't don't lose me here. Focus, <laughs> focus. Uh, fifteen votes, sixty six percent. We need to, we need to, uh, we. You know what we should do next year for uh, the tournament, Brad? For every movie we pick, every movie has to go through a drug test. Because I'm pretty sure speed is on speed right now. Speed wins. Fuck, are you kidding nice. me? The people have nice. spoken. Holy I, shit. I think speed is uh, using an illegal I think it's using an illegal drug. Oh, this is gonna make for an interesting matchup next round. But never, I didn't expect it. I didn't expect that to win. I really Ooh. didn't. I thought um uh, guys, I'm proud of you guys. That's fantastic. That's awesome. I love it. Hey, Brad, remember speed psych, out, baby. Remember psych, Brad? Proud of you. <laughs> uh, great fucking God. show dude i'm ready oh to rewatch goodness. that show okay. i'm so ready but uh anyways uh we are now at the elite eight so brad about a minute and a half or do you think the minute's still good one yeah, minute baby yeah minute's still good i think yeah, minute's still good. we've been having a great chat with the voting so far record breaking for all of the real march matters when it comes in terms of voting so you guys have been awesome so uh all right so let me type this in first blood versus kill bill Hit it, Chewy. Go ahead. Uh, let me just type it in first. Uh, I'll just go ahead since you're wired. Oh, and, and Brad, say hello to uh, Denise because Denise, uh, we, because Denise we love her. Is here. Because, yeah, we love her. So yeah, I'm drunk enough. Yeah, that's why I want you to say because I'm at the point of drunk where I will say Denise. <laughs> so I don't want to disrespect her. <laughs> what so. the fuck? You weren't that drunk the first time you said that. God damn. <laughs> all right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. All right, dude. Uh-huh. I drunk fucking tequila out of coconut. I was that was rum. Drunk. That was rum you drink out of the coconut. That was rum you okay, drink. Okay, whatever. Coconut. I was still fucking drunk. Okay. It enhances the experience, but anyway, we all do. Ill versus Ram, uh, first blood. Uh, I, actually, so. I've, I've voted against it the last couple of times. Give me kill bill. Oh, uh, man. Uh, you ready? Yeah. All right. Go. Oh, I've been ready. It's been running. Uh, okay. Just, just do... add it. Just a minute. Okay. I'll do that. Go ahead, all Birdie. Right. You pick yours. All right. The first team I'm going to send to the final four is, is kill bill the whole bloody affair like here's the deal with first blood most of the action comes within the third act uh if, and uh and it's also got the Dang two to one movie advantage too but yeah. if i'm picking a kill bill movie i'm definitely picking volume one as the superior mm-hmm. one than volume two i feel like volume two is a little bit more storytelling than action that first one though with uh the whole sword versus the 80 uh, the 80 people and then uh facing lisi Lucy Lou, I can't even talk at this point. Fuck. But it's still entertaining as hell. It's so much fun. So kill Bill for me. And Denise, I appreciate it. <laughs> and uh, uh thanks for being your uh it's no hard feelings. Thanks for me being your guys' favorites. All actually, you know what, Denise, course. just for you, Chris, I learned to do superpower on StreamYard. Please. You oh, motherfucker! Buddy. How come I could never do that, man? I because can't do you it. don't, ha- you're not drunk enough. But anyways, uh, who's that? What next, the Chris? fuck? <laughs> he drinks some shit and he can pull hearts out. Chris, like you that. try it. 
What are if you, you fucking about? pull this off, man, you're not invited I will to Hans laugh Zimmer by- anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you're not invited to Hans Zimmer anymore. You're not invited. I can't do it. I already I bought the fucking tickets, dude. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> you motherfucker. I've been trying to do this for months. I just want something to pop up. I want some I want I'm some balloons. sorry, man. I want some balloons. I'm sorry. <laughs> God damn son of a bitch piece of shit. God. Bernie can't do it. Come okay. back, Bernie. Sorry, Dina. What's the best part about this? This is prep right now because he has no ability. Where the fuck is everybody? <laughs> Where the I can't fuck do is it. everyone? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I've been clubbing. <laughs> I can't. Oh, uh, bullshit. <laughs> Whoa. Anyways, uh, part of that era. Oh uh, who are we picking here? Oh god, what are we even doing? The time's been up for two minutes, Bertie. I don't know. Saw teary eyes. The time's been up for two minutes, Bertie. I don't know what to tell you. I, I, I don't I, know where I, the fuck I'd, we are. Anymore. I'd go with Kill Bill. Pick Kill Bill. Um, All right. Let's see. Kill Bill. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> congratulations, congratulations for getting that extra minute. Um, so, fifty-three uh, percent, fifteen votes. First Blood is the first movie of fancing. Boom, 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 boom. And I'm pretty pissed off, really, because I, I had to kill Bill in the uh, championship game. First Blood, really? Wow, interessante. I, okay. Fair enough, man. The Stallone game is tough. I guess uh, the, we right. don't have people with foot fetishes in the chat foul thought, So I got my ass kicked. <sighs> oh, my God. <laughs> that is fucking... Hey, Chris, just, just out of my entertainment, uh, give me a thumbs up real quick and hold it. Just hold it. Hold it. You motherfucker, <laughs> dude. I fucking hate these motherfuckers. <laughs> I've been trying to do this since fucking January of 2023. I don't know why... Chris, I'll, still... oh, Brad, I'll figure it out for you. I'll watch some YouTube clips. It doesn't happen for me. It never happens. Uh, J-Man, I'm happy for you. Fucking First Blood won. I'm really excited because I actually do really like the movie. That was a tough decision. For uh, me all to right, pick Robocop. That. Uh, Brad, you let me yeah. know when you're ready. While, Chris, yeah, while, get... while, while Bert's typing this out, Chris, give me your thoughts on Robocop versus Mad Max. I already know what you're going to pick. Uh, of course you do. Yeah, I mean, Robocop and Nostalgia – for days buddy uh we've already talked about the flashlight that i purchased right i'm ready dead or alive you're coming with me uh but mad max i think is out and out the purest action film uh, that's ever been made okay that's my peter, personal opinion give me peter weller give me uh just a fucking crime thriller and one of the best action villains of all time i'm taking robocop oh man and hey, what did chris what'd she pick again um, I mean, I said Fury Road. I think if we're looking at action, I think that the entire movie is based in action. It's nothing but action. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I choose Fury Road. And I agree just because um, I don't know at this point. I, it's just that's what I had on my tournament bracket. I had uh, Mad Max Fury Road making it into the final four as well. Beating RoboCop, I believe, in the final four or in take the that, Elite Eight. So Take that brutal ass kill scene at the beginning of the movie. I guarantee if you lived in the 80s and that was when you're going to the theaters. Oh, oh of course. That was probably one of the most brutal oh, scenes why? you've ever seen, uh, bar none. I really do think so. Um, Chris, yeah, is buddy. the action better? I feel like it is, yeah. I mean, it, it is. It, it is. No, I'm saying there's, but it's nonstop and it's nonstop action and it's all done uh, well, practically. So there's someone up, there. There's someone there doing that action nonstop. It's all real life in camera shit. So that's why I yeah. choose Fury Road. Camera shit don't matter anymore, Chris, because 14 votes, 78% Robocop dominates. Damn. Give me okay. Ed 209 shooting motherfuckers out windows. I don't know. Right. I don't have any I don't have right, any issue it. with Robocop, okay? So like I am not upset about it. Uh, me neither. I just you know a brat. What it's if the two movies would decide to do watch parties is the championship? That would be crazy. It could happen. J-Man was there in 87 watching RoboCop in the theaters. That's fucking epic. <laughs> eight years old. Eight oh years God. old. I was probably eight when I saw RoboCop for the first time, too. Stuck with me. I had all the toys. It was fucking fantastic. Um, 
yeah, it's super nostalgic. I love the movie. Uh, let's see here. Who wins? Brad, help me out here. What's it say on screen? Uh, Terminator versus Face Off. Uh, oh, Terminator. Shit. No, I'll go ahead and tell you guys now. Um, as much as I love Face Off and I love eating, and you let me know when you're ready, Brad. Go ahead, hit it. Oh, as and J Man saw it on VHS too, so even more lucky. Um, as much as I love peaches and eating them, I'm gonna go with Terminator here because I just love the fuck out of the movie. It's scary. It's sci-fi. It's Uzi nine millimeters plasma rifles with range receptors. Give me, give me Terminator here. I'm sorry, Chris. Uh, I know I disappointed you, but the movie is just that great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like uh, no, if not, I, did, I would never be upset about doing Terminator. My pick would be Phase Off, of course. I think it, it exists more in the action realm. As or Terminator could exist in several different realms. I think Face Off is out and out pure action, but I will never be mad at Terminator winning any any competition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, like here's the deal: like Face Off, love the concept, just love everybody involved. It's absolutely fantastic. If I didn't rewatch the Terminator, I probably would have picked Face Off. But after rewatching the Terminator, it just changed my perspective from a four and a half to a golden reel. And we gotta keep it as such. So the Terminator is the one I pick. I think it deserves it. And plus, I want to see these people in the chat. Make them suffer to pick between Terminator and <laughs> Speaking of which, the time is up, Birdie. Let's see what happens. All right. Well, let's see if they make let's it. Go. So, uh, well, Brad, uh, we got one of the top records of all time for uh, dominating fashion wins. 11 <laughs> votes, 90%. You want to take a guess, Brad? I bet it's the Terminator. It is the Terminator. So, Damn. based off, you wow. have been terminated. I kind of want to see Terminator. I kind of want to see Terminator versus RoboCop because that's the dream I've been matching up since oh my I was eight years old. But again, we've been talking wild, about that cross, or Brad's been talking about that crossover. So well, that's the matchup I've been dreaming of since I was eight years old. I thought, I that, I I thought right Face Off would have given a better uh, a better fight. I think uh, it's going to happen, Birdie. I think we're going to get it. I think we are going to get it. Well, T2 let's versus, find out. T two versus Speed is the next matchup. You let Let's see if ready. Speed can uh, keep using the, the illegal drugs to win their competition. So, T2 Speed, I'm ready when you are, Brad. Go ahead, hit it. And, yeah, Brady, and that's why don't you go first Cody, this time, Brady? And that's the thing with Cody Snyder saying, uh, nah, Brad, Sly versus Arnie. We could have uh, Arnie versus Sly in the finals, so you might never know. But for me, yes, for it's me, no man. contest. It's, T it's Terminator 2. The only movie if I could compete with Terminator 2 at this point would have been either Die Hard or Bloodsport. And since both of those are eliminated, easy. Chris? Yeah, I tend to agree here, man. I mean, you guys know T2 my, is in my top 10 of all time. Speed, I love it. It's a great action flick, but T2, man, is all time. I mean, I love it. It's got so much heart, so much sci-fi action it's it's everything all in one and uh it's it's my entire childhood essentially so t2 baby let's go what y'all got take it as well i'll i'll join you on that give me t2 i love it mm -hmm. and, so, and yes uh, time up yeah time is up time is up all right who's the last team going got? to the final four uh 12 votes 75 percent t2 so no okay. drug is good enough to beat terminator 2 Fuck yeah, it's going to happen. T2 versus T1. You guys better be ready for that matchup. Uh, oh, man. But we're going to make you wait too, for that. But we're going to make you wait for that. Before we start the Final Four, I'm kind of curious because we're always listening to suggestions. So we'll give this about a minute to see what the chat looks like. And then we'll continue with the Final Four and the championship. What would you all like to see next for the real March Madness? Any particular genre, particular decade? Like you want us to do best comedy of all time, best comic book movie of all time? You want us? Uh, we did the eighties and nineties already. You want us to see us to do the two thousands, two thousand best Disney movie of all time, best Disney movie of all time, best End Man movie? Just let us all know that right now in that comic in the uh, chat right now because uh, oh, I'm already seeing two comedies right now. So don't forget we got the we got the summer slash coming up here in a couple months so that that's oh my god awesome. zodiac wants to do the best promo uh poor i said promo pro porno so chris has to do that term oh time. yeah Be best porno i i'll do it if, if people want it's to easy it's two it's, it. it's two girls in one cup but anyways get uh, the fuck out of oh, here man yeah, there's so many the, better options oh man debbie does dallas no Rally, no mine's Rally easily Reed stop does... or cuss 
Mine is stop or cousins, but anyways. So okay. You know what? <laughs> Whatever you say, bud. But uh okay, I see sci-fi, that's a good one. Uh superheroes with Raymond. I I see I would love to do a superheroes one in the future, but I'm yeah, definitely buddy. seeing this is coming. So uh ooh, another sci-fi. So uh all right, we're we're listening to you guys. We will take this into strong consideration of what we're doing next year for the real March Madness. What so, about I, oh Rosie says deep throat. I like it. I mean that's de- a Rosie. One, one, and, one and done. We will do a review of deep throat. Ooh, one, Rosie. Let's Jamin go. brings up an interesting one. Your personal favorite movies. Oh, I actually Ooh, love that. that idea, if we could give like a fourth person, like that tournament can work. Yeah, that oh. could be a lot of fun. First off, Tom, what is going on? That said, invites a lot on the of stream. emotionality into it, though. Oh, man. But I click on the stream, and y'all are talking about porno. Fuck that I'll walk into. Hey, that's just the greatness <laughs> of Good Real Hunting. You never know what the fuck's going hey, on. Buddy. You know, when you walk into a porno, the first thing you say, let's see what this is about. Where the yeah. fuck Where is the fuck? everybody? <laughs> Where the fuck is everyone? But I'll t- I'll go ahead and tell you right now, uh, freaking uh, with porno talks and everything, we need to figure out what the ultimate money shot is. So let's go ahead and dive into this final. Four. Let's get that Monet shot, baby. Let's go. So uh, let's go ahead and do My the hand. first matchup here: First Blood versus RoboCop. And Brad, would you say two minutes is fair from here on out? Let's go a minute and a half. A minute and a half minimum. Okay. Minimum. But we're we're minimum. still kind of averaging around two minutes anyway after we talk. So yeah, um, and we're yeah. we're pretty toasted. So it is ten forty two, man. I mean, people gotta go to bed. Robocop. Well, most of us aren't working tomorrow, so that's the good news. It is Good Friday tomorrow. It is that. So so Robocop or First Blood. So Brad, I'm Chris, ready you, when you are. All right, and Chris, you go first. Tell me what you think. Robocop. Robocop. <laughs> Robocop. Robocop. <laughs> I have uh <laughs> that could be it th- that's a I bought I bought I bought a I bought a Robo Clock one time. That that needs to be um, our new real March Madness. Just uh I, I've been subjected like to a Robo Cop at a certain point. Uh I still think we should take top ten movies and uh make uh porno names out of them, but Brad, uh, we need a top t- we need to do a top ten. <laughs> we were thinking about top ten stream in two weeks, so that could be it. I like it, Bertie. You're a good man. It's first it, blood, baby. Write it down. It's first blood for me. I won't take up too much time. Robocock. You already know. You guys already know that I'm going with Robocop here. Again, I just uh. love I love the brutality, man. I love it. It's fucking fantastic. And I realize that first blood is 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 awesome too. And I love Sly is one of my favorite action actors actors of all time. Honestly, Peter Weller's got nothing on, on Sly. But the story, the storytelling, the world building, the brutality, the revenge, the, the 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 satire that you see in RoboCop is just so much more than you could get from most movies. Um, so I'm taking it. I love it. I think it's fantastic. Ed 209, still one of the best cops out there. I think he's fantastic. I think he just, you know, he's just, he's one of the guys out there that you really want to root for. So give me a RoboCop, man. Hmm. Would you replace Chris Hansen with him? Yeah, fuck, dude. Could you imagine? Do do do. Oh, Robocop or uh, Ed Two Hundred Nine is more of a whoosh, whoosh, whoosh kind of guy. But he would, he, you know, yeah. he would be like, you know what? Uh, you have eight seconds to comply, and then he would cut it down to one and just blow him away, blow him away. That makes well, um, kind of cool. So read some comments real quick, if it will get the winner. But first off, Why I'm don't you sit down and have some pizza. I wish I had some pizza right now. Like, uh, I remember one time somebody sent me a pizza at uh, 1 a.m. in the morning, uh, which, thank you, good <laughs> sir, for your work. I already know who it was. Zach, if you're watching, I know it was you. Um, <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so Thomas does say, uh, is Robocop a ripoff of Terminator? Possibly. No, no, no. no. It, it, completely different they story. They both walk completely the different same. Story. Completely different story. Completely different story. A uh, time is no, up, I, Bertie, I, but you go I, ahead and I go. Buy, I buy both one, from a dollar. There That's could have true. been some inspiration there, though. It could no. have been inspiration. Yeah, inspiration. Could have been inspiration, but that's fair because I think Terminator was inspired by Friday the Thirteenth. You have this in- unstoppable fucking uh, killing machine that's after you, and you can't fucking kill him. I, you know, that's fair. But true. but the the story is completely different. 
Um, so give me that. Uh, Birdie, the, did I tell you the time was up? You yeah, you did. I'm just writing two more comments real quick. Um, read the comments. Give us your thoughts. I just wanted to let you know so you could stop the poll. No, it's a, okay. I'll at least stop the poll so we don't have any last minute votes. Um, but um, so, but J Man says Slide would never lose on my channel. My fa followers are too loyal. Which uh, that first off, that's awesome because Slide does deserve it. But that's why I'm glad we're doing it as well because the people in the chat ours are different from yours. <coughs> what the fuck did I just? What the fuck I have no I idea. Just Birdie's I fucking dying on, over here. I was choking on some ice. Uh, but uh, green? Oh uh, no. Anyways, uh, and what was the, the other cream? comment? <laughs> uh, uh, what was my last comment uh, here? Uh, da, 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 da. Anyway, okay, I forgot. But anyways, I'm picking Robocopo. So let's see who is going to the championship. Brad, is your prophecy going to still come fruition? Uh oh, wait. What is it? Oh, okay. I'm excited. I was about to say. I was about to say. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, there it is. Thank God. I was like, where is the results? 16 votes, 62%. Who is going to be the first movie into the finals? Brad, your prophecy is still alive. Robocop wins. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> Give it to me, bitches. I fucking love it, dude. I love Robocop, man. I fucking love it. I fucking love it, dude. I'm excited. So, all right. Now it is the moment. Well, the second moment you have all been waiting for. Who wins? This is where y'all's loyalty is going to be uh, <laughs> determined here. Terminator. If I can learn to spell that is. Just say Terminator. T1, T2. People get the difference. Well, I don't want to confuse people with that, so... Because we might not be the only ones drunk. So T2 or the Terminator. Brad, you Brady, what are they going to think? Start. You're talking T uh, Tegan 1 versus T2? Just tell me when to start the damn thing. <laughs> Go ahead, Brady. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, I'm drinking the cream part now. I don't know who's going first, Brady. Is it your turn? Go ahead, Brady. Might as well let it be me, Bo. Um, yeah. Here's the deal. Both movies are now officially a golden reel for me. Five out of five. Um... It's just pretty much just pick your choice because they could like easily switch from here on out. So I probably could more than likely go with the Terminator since I recently rewatched it. But man, if we're just talking about the greatest action movie of all time, and this is where it's a little bit of a disadvantage towards the Terminator because the Terminator we've already distinguished it is a horror movie. T two takes away the horror aspect and adds more action to it. This is an action tournament. I'm going with T2. Chris, let me know. <laughs> let you know, bud. Of course. T2, man. I love, love the Terminator. Love I mean, it's got a lot going for it, but you know T2 is in my top 10 of all time. I think there's so much more heart in there. And, you know, there's something to be said about the original effects of the, uh, you know, of the Terminator and cutting his arm open and all that bullshit. There's a lot of, of things going on in there, but it, it doesn't have the same heart as the, as the second one does. Like at the end of that, whenever he's like, you know, he, he's got to go and he lowers him into the fucking, uh, into the, the smelting pit or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, you know, I, liquid my heart hot magma, you know, the liquid hot magma there at the Thomas end. Birdie. That was heartbreaking for me, you know, as a kid, and that shit still holds up. Plus the T eight hundred or whatever the fuck it is, the liquid metal guy, Robert Patrick's T1, character, T one thousand, T one thousand, baby. That thing holds up. Love that guy. Uh, yeah, I agree with you guys. I think T. I, I honestly think if we're just picking the best movie overall at this point, I might actually go with T one. I might go with Terminator, but um, Terminator two is just an outstanding like i just think of that scene where uh arnold is is out there shooting all the fucking he's got that fucking uh that that that, that shotgun looking thing that's shooting grenades out you know and he's out there at the building and he's shooting all the cops but he's not actually killing any of them uh great sequence um he said you have the fantastic score for both movies by the way i haven't mentioned that tonight but it's it's fantastic um 
He's out there just blowing them away. He's got that fucking mini gun. He pulls out and he uh, he doesn't kill anybody. He's fantastic. They they throw the gas. He's like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll shoot you in the leg. He'll survive. Um, it's it you know it really is one of the best action sequences. And it was guys, this movie was made in 1991, and it holds up more so than 90 percent of the movies made in the early 2000s. Like it's just it's it's just one of those movies that practical effects was used so well especially with the T-1000 character that you just don't you know, like you, you don't see that today. Um, everything today that they would have done in, in 91 is, is done with, with digital effects. Now they, they did use some CGI in that movie, but they blended it so perfectly that it holds up. There were some, there were, they, there were a couple of Fernandos in the movie. We saw a couple of times, but, <laughs> oh my uh, gosh, yeah. couple, oh. but uh, you know, it's just one of those fucking just groundbreaking action movies. You know, you also think about that scene in that trench with the motorcycle chasing the semi truck. That's just fucking epic. Uh, T two, T two, man. And uh, Chris, first off, I apologize. We keep covering you, covering you up down there. Um, oh no, also, worries, man. Uh, Aaron These Click motherfuckers don't want to see me. Well, I want to see you, but uh, Aaron Click. First <laughs> off, I just want to say I think we're all pretty much drunk at this point. So if we forgot to say hello to you, I deeply apologize. Aaron Click, what's up? How are you doing? Great comment here saying the Terminator does have plenty of action, but I feel the action is perfected in T2. It's super close, though. But speaking of super close, are you ready for the results? Hit it, Chewie. All right. Uh, 62%. 16 votes. Brad, is your prophecy going to come true? It half does. It still counts. Yeah, it still counts. Terminator versus Robocop. Okay. I didn't in the fucking sure. finals. This is what I've been waiting for since I was eight, dude. I fucking duped these characters out so many times when I was eight. It's it's ridiculous. So I'm excited. I'm pumped. I'm excited to see how this fucking final is gonna turn out. Oh, Are you kidding right. me? Robocop and Terminator? Get the fuck out of here. God man. best of luck, chat. I'm glad we're not making this decision because we need to find each other. Here backtrack with the comment of the night jason j man thank you so much no matter who wins i'm having a great time best stream ever thank you thank uh, you thank man. you buddy i love it dude thank you man i love it I and know i know you're, you're gonna guy. yeah and i know he's gonna do the tournament too on his channel as well uh and i know that's gonna be great too yeah we'll tune in for it man just let us know if you do it when when it is uh we'll be there man i love this fucking shit it's so great all so, right but we have to get back to the task at hand. And before we get back to the task at hand, I want to read off some uh, Patreon or Patreon YouTube membership members real quickly. Brooke, Maddie, Cody Snyder, Chad, Bubba. I love that Bubba guy. Lamontra, Tony, and the Slaughter Lamb. You all are at the tier two and up. So if you got a super chat video uh, from a sing of a movie, nine second clip that you want us to include to, for your perk, contact me or Brad. We will make that happen for you. And also on the 1st of April, we're going to be spinning a wheel to see who gets a review picked for the month. Yeah, of April. For a review pick. And then Brooke gets the movie since that was her suggestion of the idea for Patreon. Yes, 100%. No. And she did pick her movie, but we're not ready to tell that just yet. Can't wait for it though. I know, I know. Brad's fucking excited. So I texted him at <laughs> six o'clock in the morning on it, or technically at one a.m. But anyways, just wanted to do that quick announcement real quick. So now, guys, the main event that you have all been waiting for, Brad. You let me know when to hit that button. T two RoboCop. It's time. Go for it, Brady. Two minutes. Let's go. Two minutes nope, minimum. And real quickly, Brad, I want you to have your thoughts for last because this is your dream match. So let me and Chris go first. Go ahead. Go ahead. Chris, we'll go from bottom to top. So, Chris, who wins best action movie all time? Man, I can't I can't imagine who's going to pull this out. But for me personally, I mean, it's T2, man. I, 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 you know, it's in my top 10. I love RoboCop. Nothing against it. I think this is a fucking phenomenal matchup, honestly, that we ended up with. For me, though, it's Terminator 2. I just think there's so much heart there. There's so much groundbreaking um, CGI uh, comped with uh, real world uh, effects and shit like that, you know, like from a technical standpoint of filmmaking. 
T2 is just great on so many levels, man. And there's so much heart in it. I can't, I can't vote against it, dude. I love it so much. So, and that fucking ending, dude, has stuck with me all these years. I still almost cry every time I watch it. So I love, I love T2, man. What do you guys think? Um, Well, I'll go, let me go next here. Um, Love both of these movies. I think both of these movies are so well mm. worth the finals to represent this representation, the best action movie of all time. They both deserve that right to compete for the best of the best. But there can only be one winner, in my opinion. That one winner, in my personal opinion, is going to be Terminator 2. T2, Judgment Day. Just because of a lot, a lot with what Chris said, but I feel like uh, this movie actually perfected as the ultimate blueprint on how... Yeah, Actually, Chris, real quickly. Okay, that's gone. What, what, yeah. Do uh, the thumbs up right now. Hold it there. Hold it there. You motherfuckers! <laughs> dude, I fucking hate you guys. I hate both oh of you guys. Goodness. I can do it all day. And it never, it never pops up. It never does I'll it. Say, you need to check your settings, but uh, that's what'll be the first thing. I'll Bernie say, said, but, uh, "Exclude everybody except for Brad." Or no, wait, include everybody except for Brad is Brad. what he said. I really just want Brad to say, "Where the fuck is everybody?" Uh, but anyway, <laughs> where the um, fuck is everyone? <laughs> but go back to my point real quick, though. Uh, I think Terminator Two is just a game changer at the end of the day for just studying the history of movies. <laughs> this is the blueprint you steal on how to be a successful sequel, and not only just a successful sequel and everything you need to do, but to everything just for being an action movie and what it is all about. I respect RoboCop, but I feel like just what get T Two the slight littlest of edges. It's just the beginning of the movie of T2 just has a little bit more action than RoboCop does. But I understand RoboCop is building the world, building the story. But T2 was doing that while providing that little action. So that's why just barely, just the barest of margins, I'm going with T2. So Brad, two questions. And I'm going to go ahead and end the poll right now. I don't even know. I'm going to do my best I can not to look at the results. But Brad, two questions. Eight-year-old you, who do you pick? And now, 33-year-old Brad, who do you pick? Hey, eight-year-old me is picking RoboCop all fucking day. But, um, <laughs> god damn, this is such a tough decision. I think, yeah, I think I like RoboCop more as a movie, but I think I agree with you guys from an action standpoint that Terminator 2 wins this thing. It's got uh, it's got so many more memorable experiences I mentioned the trench scene where they're going through the drain. Um, you got, you know, the fucking uh, the scene at the fucking Cyberdyne systems where they're, you know, shooting all the cops out there, but not killing any of them. But you also got helicopters in there. You got you got vehicle chases. You got the ending uh, where they're at their fucking uh, melting uh, Terminator lab or whatever it's called. Um, and all this other shit in between. That's just fantastic. Um it, and all of it was shot in such a way that it's so it, it, it it's not aged like again like again there's a couple cgi sequences with t1000 where you're like okay i can see where this was made in 1991 but other than that it's you know it, it's it's fucking it's so seamless like and again you could you could almost say that the movie aside from like the pixels you could almost say that the movie was made today and it, you would you would you would buy it um, the practical effects are bar none. Uh, the characters are still great. You still have a lot of great character moments. You have the the epic character arc of Sarah Connor uh, from the first movie to the second movie, which becomes this badass. You got T uh, Arnold coming in as the good guy in this movie, and that epic moment, which I will say, um, the thumbs up at the end, man. Come on, the, th- the thumbs up at the end is great, <laughs> but you also have that epic fucking moment. Where you honestly like, I I can't put myself in the situation, but I think if you went into that movie blind, I don't know what the trailer looked like because I wasn't really around in '91. I, I was born in '91, but I wasn't really <laughs> you know there. Um, I, you know, if you didn't see the trailer for it, I don't know what the trailer looked like. You almost would probably think that the cop character, the T1000, was the good guy until they met in that hallway, and you realize that the T1 th- the the T800 Arnold's character was the good guy. And he was actually there to protect John Connor. There's a lot of suspense there. That that first bit of the movie where you're like, okay, what's going on? You got two of these guys coming back from the future. 
Um, I don't know exactly how to handle it, but then the T-1000 comes in and fucking tries to kill John Connor. It's fucking great. And you still have that underdog story that you have in the first movie because T-100 is, is severely outmatched against the T-1000. Um, so yeah, I, th- I I love it for that. It's it's fantastic. And I think it's, again, it's it's yeah one of my favorite action movies of all time. It's not some of my favorite in this in this bracket. Liquid metal, baby. Yeah, it's great. It's you know, it's it's groundbreaking. James Cameron, man, um, really brought it. I'll go with T two. All righty. And before we reveal the results, which I know the chat knows, but Chris and uh, Brad are the only ones that are, don't know. We They're don't pretty know. Much on a lonely island right now, going, where the fuck are the results? <laughs> uh, but before it, we get, we to got the on that result, island after we got yeeted from a boat crash. By the way, we went fucking yeet. <laughs> that all right but uh but right for that uh two dollar super chat for cody snyder first off cody thank you so much and again let me know about your clip because when we uh played the video where we're getting ready to play it would be your video in the future so we're gonna have to play a random video actually we haven't played chris snyder's video so we'll go ahead and play that uh so thank you so much <coughs> for our two dollar super chat saying rocky steel the greatest character in fiction which that could be another interesting term in the future as well the best <laughs> fictional characters of all time <coughs> So let me get Chris Snyder's uh, comment here, and uh, actually let me remove this comment real quick. I agree, so you Cody. Can see it. I agree, Cody. So here we go. If you want something with a pie and me, just fuck your own brother in the front seat. Oh, why can't you just say please? Hey, must be the money. Hey, must be the money. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but thank you so much, uh, Cody, for the two dollars super chat. So Brad, are you ready for the results? I want to see it, man. I want to see what people came up with. Are you ready for the results? Reveal it to me, Daddy. All right, guys. You ready? Here we go. Let me get back the results. Because we have a brand new finals record in votes and percentage. 17 votes where we had a consistency of 20 people watching the stream the entirety of the show. 94%. (laughs) Holy shit. Wow. Officially told Robocop. Hasta la fiesta, baby. (laughs) T2 is your best action movie champion of all time. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. There's no complaints there. What a round of applause, fellas. Come on. Yeah, and first of all, I want to say, easily out of our real March Madness, and I've enjoyed all three tournaments, this one has probably been my more uh, personal favorite. With the laughs, with the discussion, and with just you all voting, because this tournament has just been perfect. I've had feedback from people around that I've shared it with, that this is, this is our best uh, bracket yet, uh, from a... From a uh, situation when it comes to the matchups, particularly in the first round, all the way through. Mm-hmm. Um, and I agree, it was tough. Even in the first round, no matchup was easy. Like no, none of them was like a like a slam dunk for me. Um, so yeah, it, I agree. It was it was it was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm just checking real quick. Uh, one. Uh, hold on a minute. One, two. Birdie, you know how much uh, oh, you man, would just I'm add to this. Uh, no, I let me ask done. you something. Let me let me ask you something, Birdie. If, you know how much you would add to the stream right now if your uh, iPhone cover was the one from Commando with Arnold holding up the grenade launcher. I I need to, but uh, Mia from uh, Halusa Arts uh, made this design, and I have to represent her work. So. That's touche, touche. Mm. But it would have been really cool. If you had Arnold sitting there holding a grenade launcher, and the three cameras were the and again, the, just to piss off Brad, Mia, uh, we love you on this channel. You motherfucker, dude. I hate... I, I hate you. God damn it. If Chris is... Fuck you, dude. Oh, my I, God. But anyways, uh, real quickly, uh, I have our tournament submissions before the stream. Two people. Well, technically three because of me, but I don't count. Brooke and our friend Clark are the only two people to pick the tournament winner right, which is, by the Woo! way, first time... Which is the first time ever... <laughs> Anybody has done that on the channel that they actually got the winner right. Wow, that's crazy. I'm pretty sure, unless if it's someone won from The Shining, but it's been a while ago, so I can't remember. Brad, are you uh, opening a bottle of wine? 
No, this is tequila, dude. I'm still. But Bra- oh, okay. uh, remember this real quick uh, mm-hmm. with Brooks yeah. bracket. She had <laughs> T2, Terminator, Lethal Weapon, and Demolition Man in the final four with okay. Lethal Weapon facing T2. Remember Where'd that Clark one. Go? Clark was uh, the Dark Knight, the Matrix, uh, Inception, and T2 with T2 beating the Dark Knight in the finals. So if we really wanted to. Brooke won the tournament. Based because on the final got, four? Because she got more of the final four correctly. I'm good with it. Which, yeah. by the way, it's a record, too. Two of the four final fours guessed correctly. That's a record, too. I'm good with it. Yeah. Let's, so uh, Brooke, congratulations. You win a $25 gift card. So you just mess. I'll message you, and you let me know which gift card you won. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. That's fucking awesome. Well-deserved. Uh, great picks, Brooke. That's fantastic. Yeah, and Denise says, fun streaming. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night, favorite people. Thank you, Denise. And that's actually a good segue. I love segues. I'm the master of segues. So, Denise, just in case if you're interested, next Friday, and we're, I know we've been over three hours, so we're going to wrap this up. So, three hours. Uh, so, next up, Denise, uh, what we're going to do uh, for next Friday, April the 5th, at 8 o'clock Eastern time, it's going to be, let me remove the better real quick it's a uh, brett man's early birthday hangout so me and the my closest buddies uh we are going to just be celebrating my birthday shooting the shit hanging out and we're just going to uh whatever you all want to talk about or whatever we want to talk about we're just going to hang out man uh for my birthday so that is going to be next friday april the 5th and just to throw some names out there who have confirmed to be here uh me of course brad chris is going to join us when he can join us Destiny and Brayden from Fear Freaks is going to join us, and Chad is going to join us, and I'm also going to see if Brayden's good friend Misa IL can join us, and I'll let y'all know if he can or not. So that is next Friday, April the 5th, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. And guys, have a shot with you, because we're going to be all taking a shot all together in that stream. Where do you know what else? You know what else is going to happen on Friday? What's that? Our first episode of The Real Room, the 30-minute pre-show for the Tier 3. Yes, and uh, so I might be extra Mm. crud by then, so you don't want to miss that opportunity. Yeah, it's going to be really exciting. I can't wait for it, Um, uh, just to have that opportunity. I'm excited for anybody that wants to jump into that. Uh, We're going to hang out. We're going to talk movies. We're going to talk about all kinds of fun stuff. We're going to be, or it could just be me and Burt, man. We could be walking in there saying... Let's see what this is about. Where the Where the f- fuck is, is everybody? <laughs> Brad, I, okay. Any patron of ours, like I will owe you the biggest thank you in the world in the whole wide world. If one of you all's uh, nice second super chat video is that Conor McGregor video, <laughs> I would be pe- forever. I would be forever grateful. People have been hating on my boy Connor, man, but he was definitely the most entertaining part. Like, he was just fucking, you know, just so goofy, man. It, but it just fucking worked. Like, I, it's just like, I, I yes. love it. I want to see more of him. Bro, uh, Denise is going to bring a Pepsi and a shot. Excellent. And I think, I, listen, uh, Birdie, I think Raymond, I want to say it was Raymond earlier said this. I can't exactly go also back and find Cody it. Also, saying, best show ever, or best show, guys. Thank you. And you're welcome, Cody. And thank you, everybody else, because you guys make this show happen. So, Brad, back to you. You do. And the tournaments are so fun. Thank you for being here. I think it was, I think, I think it was Raymond earlier who said this. If I'm not, if I'm, if I'm mistaken, I apologize for whoever said it. I, I'm trying to go back and find it, but I can't. Uh, but they said the three of us are awesome, Chris. Uh, they love Chris. They want to see more of Chris on the channel. Man, uh, fuck Chris. He needs, to, he needs to come back more. <laughs> and I agree, man. And I'm there's kidding. a very special surprise we have in store for you here coming soon. Yes, but we're not ready you, just yet. Yeah, no, we're not ready for it. But I think you guys are going to love it when it, when but it comes. But I will say, no, I agree. Uh, not me. our three project, but a it particular, was but a particular project will be announced if officially on my birthday stream per my mm. birthday request so stay tuned yeah and uh, the patrons already know yeah the patrons already know so but that's the birthday stream so the next uh also another stream too uh me and destiny are bringing back uh back from the dead april edition a lot earlier if anticipated but that's mainly due to uh scheduling and everything so me and destiny will be live on april the 7th at noon eastern time going over the horror movie anniversaries for the month of april and as you can already see from this thumbnail there's plenty 
plenty of great movies to talk about. So it's going to be another fun discussion. Uh, so don't, and much, much more is coming out too. And uh, during the week of my birthday, I might have to leave it with these goofballs down here. So you might never know. Oh, we're going to do something epic. Uh, Chris, if you want to join in, we'll do some epic together. If you want, to yeah. Or, uh, oh. I think we also talk about a particular watch party I wanted to do too on that week on maybe a Tuesday. But again, Amen. we're we're gonna talk about it after stream. So, uh, if, but oh, if go Daddy's ahead, Chris, out of the house. No, I'm just gonna tell Brad if Daddy's out of the house. You know, we can get into some good stuff, right? A hundred percent, dude. No rules. No rules. No rules. No rules. Daddy's, Daddy's out of the house. Put your shirt back on. Want. There's one rule. We can do that uh, that watch party with funny games we always talked about. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, great. just saying. <laughs> what about the heels have thighs? Mm. Dude, I'm, yeah, the, I'm telling you, that would be a Lord fun of the G-Strings. That would Come be a on. fun string to do in two weeks, Brad. It's uh, top ten uh, funniest uh, porn names like for movies. Oh, it please, would be fun. Le- please let me come in there. I mean... Let me participate. That's a better way. To anyways, say five dollars super chat from a. Ton- <laughs> I don't know how to. Co- I don't know how to come back from that. But anyways, uh, Atonis does say uh, Happy Easter, guys. Yes, for five dollars super chat. So uh, actually, baby. Chris, do you have access to our video clips or? Mm, maybe I do. I don't know. Uh, uh, the OnlyFans clips, I definitely do. Okay, well, we don't want to show out that, Brad. Uh, oh, should we should we do this one because we got here? I didn't know. Oh, here, wait. Let me play this video for Atonis. <laughs> uh, Atonis, man, here. thank you so much for. Uh, Aaron Click says, "Come back from that," which I really can't at this point, and it's really, really getting late. So again, just want to thank you guys so much for making this stream that awesome and the next tournament we're going to do is for summer slash we do not know the topic yet but that is definitely coming in the summertime <laughs> of course oh my god we're reading the fucking four names in the chat you guys are fucking hilarious <laughs> uh, I didn't say that. but also we want to thank chris for taking time out of his and just incredibly busy schedule to come hang out with us and make this tournament work uh buddy we love you and we always miss you uh you're always that missing piece for us um so we just appreciate you uh you know what i appreciate you this much uh so uh um, oh, buddy. buddy fuck you fuck you chris <laughs> fuck you i fucking hate you i fucking hate it i, fucking but, hate uh, it. Anyways, I, I love chris, you that much Bertie. <laughs> but uh chris uh since you're our special guest and uh, we always like to do the last word chris you're hardly on here so we gotta give you actually before we give you the last word brad do you got anything else for us fuck you Okay, that's great enough. Like I said, uh, wow, the mic is shaking. Chris is pr- Brad's pretty much on the lonely. Actually, you know what? I have a good feeling about this. But Chris, last word. And guys, we will see you all next Friday for the next live stream. So Chris, last word. Damn right. I will say I love you all. Uh, be safe while you're pegging. <laughs>